same thing. Say, he's a damn. He's a damn. Not the same thing. I want to say this. Yesterday we had a conversation. Dama was in it too. You understand what I'm saying? Take it. I wasn't here, so you gotta you gotta let me know the full context. So we had a conversation about Victor Wimbanyama yesterday, and everybody got on my helmet, Bob. All these dudes was running their mouth saying that I was out of my world because I was saying that right now the skill set we're seeing from Vic, he looked more advanced than anybody I've seen coming into the NBA. And I said that the way his skill set and the way he looked now looked like KD in his fifth year in the league. The way he looked now with his skill set and everything, they all tripped on me like I was crazy. So I got a thousand dollar bet with the fake Jim Jones, aka uh, uh, Ricky Tan, aka Jalen Carter, that this man will average twenty five and up this season. They told now. They huh. told me. Wait, wait, ticket, ticket. When you said the fake Jim Jones, I thought you were talking about Dipset. You talking about Jim Jones? Jim Jones. No, I'm talking about Dipset. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about Jalen Carter. Look like the the. I'll put a picture up on my avatar so you can see it. Better. Like I said, and Ron, I uh, damn, you. Jalen, you'd have made it to the avatar. Right, Ron, I sent you, Ron, that 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 mail in your in your in your message right there. I need you to put that on the stream because yesterday they was talking all this cap to me and making it seem like, and all you in the comment section, making it seem like what I was saying was impossible or something something that was out of this world. What I was saying, Damo sitting up here talking about, hey man, or wait till he see the tough teams and the tough defenses. Like I said before, it ain't nobody that can stop him at his size. So, and you talking about, and he talking about Kai Jones. He ain't even in the league. He's out of the league right now. He ain't even on no team. So, like I said, Ron, please put. It what on are you screen. talking about? Oh, you about to see what I'm talking about right now? Victor Wembanyama. So, no, but what, what did I say though? I ain't say shit about that 25, oh, no, no, that 25 no, no, no. game back. All I said good. was the 28 was kind of crazy because we watch him play. Now you, no, now you What did I say about y'all bet? I wasn't even here for y'all bet. No, no, you, no, no. You was right here in the chat. I saw you because I didn't chat anything because I'm not a member, so I can't put nothing in the chat. Well, right. well, well, I'll, I'll tell you what, Damo. I'll tell you what, Damo. I'll tell you what, Damo. I ain't on the fence. Ticket wild as hell talking about Victor Wamanyama walking in the league today. I'm. T T Victor Wembanyama walking in the league today makes it look as easy as KD did in okay, year so five. Okay, so Rob, put that on the screen. Hold on, hold on, Rob, put that on the screen. I, that's I, I, I got you. Hey, ticket. You about to flame me? I need him to put this on the screen real quick. Don't, don't come out and me kill him. They don't come to say anything. I got facts when I come with it. Right, right. Ticket. You know, we 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 don't do we don't do the extra lazy shit. We talk on we. We're there. We, we don't. We don't. Fact. We dealing. We, we don't deal in passing. No, we deal in facts. What I said. What did I well, say? No, no, you, no, you. You was in here saying. You what was in I here say? saying when I when I was talking about Victor Wimbanyama, you was in here crying, talking about some. Oh no, he ain't for, wait till he play them tough defenses. When he he got to play them tough defenses, oh, he, he ain't gonna be doing all that. Then that's what you were saying yesterday. Don't lie. Okay, so now crazy. now because you you don't you love to talk and you don't like to listen. What I said was. I feel you. I feel like he has it, but can we see him play stiffer competition before we say he's averaging 28? I brought up Kai Jones and said, we've seen him struggle against Kai Jones. I didn't say Kai Jones locked him up. I didn't say, oh man, Kai Jones did it, so everybody else going to... I literally said, hell, we've seen him struggle against Kai Jones. If he struggled against him, how is he going to fare against anybody else? That's what I said. This, I this man. Stick to what the fuck I said. I this Tell man me what I said. I this don't, just infer, don't make shit up. Don't put other niggas to face on me. Talk about, oh, oh, Damo, you was there. Nigga, we all were here. You're, you're, what are you Damo, talking you're about? The biggest hater. You're the biggest hater on YouTube, Damo. But let you me literally say wanted to fly up the show to get on my dick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right quick, right quick, y'all, right quick. Ticket, I'm, I got it right here. But before I put this on the screen, I got to go around and ask everybody, do you think he will average 25 or more? Just a quick yes or no question. Mars. Yes or no? No. no. Chill. Cap. Yes or no? No. Cap. Damo. Yes or no? No. Cap. Bob. Yes or no? <laughs> Bob, no. Come on. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Take your side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Why y'all do this, man? Keep it real, bro. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I think he gonna have like 27. Thank you. Thank you. Now, put it on the screen. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Ticky. Ticky. Wait. 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 It's one more person. All in. No, man. Take it, man. I know you might be worried about that thousand. You might be a little worried. I got, whoa, when you send me that a thousand, I'm going to fly down to the DR and we going to spend it right. Don't worry. We're going to spend it right. I got you, man. I got you. Dipset. Ron, put this on the screen. I'm about to annihilate. I'm about to annihilate. 
I'm about to annihilate. You gonna average boy. eighteen and eight, three. baby. Now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you three bozos. Now you yeah. yesterday said he wasn't gonna average twenty, uh, Jalen. But I pulled up his stats already from the preseason, Jalen. Cool. In twenty-one minutes, he's averaging twenty-one and a half points already. That's cool. only in twenty-one minutes. The Shooting sixty-four percent from the field. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Easy. Like I said before, I will take your money because he will play thirty to thirty-three minutes a game. That's okay. easy. He will play 30 to 33 minutes a game. And when he does that, let's say he does play great defenses and say his percentage comes down 10%. Well, guess what? He'll still be shooting 55% from the field. He's still going to get all the shots. So look at those numbers right there in 21 minutes per game, sir. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's the preseason. Can we bring up Jonathan Kaminga's numbers? Listen, Do we think Jonathan Kaminga's going to average 25 hold on, hold on, hold on. a game? Here's a difference. Hold on. Hold, difference. Hold, on. hold on. Here's a difference. Yeah. difference is, is that Jonathan Kuminga ain't gonna be? He ain't the number one option. Wimby is, but he's not though. Don't no, 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 he is. is. Bro, 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 cut this up, bro. bro. <laughs> no, no, come on, don't do this, bro. Don't, don't do this to yourself, bro. You gonna yeah, be I generally think. I, I generally think Devin South's gonna take more shots. Than, been, than hey, hey, look, you could have been using. You could have been using that money on whatever them in blow up arms you be using to get in the gym in, or whatever them the, the supplements you be using in the gym. The, 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 we know you have performance enhancement. We know because you need, 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 you the defense is going to get ratcheted up during the postseason and late in the season during the and during the postseason. That's when the defense is going to get really ratcheted up. So I want to ask y'all, if he's doing that in 21 minutes, 21 and a half points, what makes us think that if he's playing 32, 33 minutes per game, that he's not going to – and remember, Dave, you, chill down. David Robinson was 24 and what his first rookie year? Well. What was what was Tim Duncan his rookie year? 20, 20 and, and, and 11. Right, and that was with two other Hall of Famers on his team, right? He had uh, David Robinson on his crew at that right. point. Right, who else? Hold on, what you call it? Wasn't there yet? Hmm. No, uh, Ginobili okay. and, okay. and Tony okay. Parker didn't okay. show up. Who else, show up. Got, who else do Wimby got close to a Hall of Fame on his team? My whole point is, is this. He's going to be a bucket machine because he's going to be the main guy. Pop, Pop is going to try to prove a point that this dude is what he is. He's letting him play his game. So he's going to take a lot of shots, bro. And, and one thing we've seen about Wimby – He's not afraid to shoot the ball, let it go. He going to squeeze that thing. M Me and Mars talked about his three-point attempts yesterday. He already shooting in 21 minutes, chill time. He put up five threes, almost four and a half threes per game in 21 minutes. That's mm -hmm. insane. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's say he's putting up seven threes a game, which he probably is going to shoot because he's not scared to squeeze it from anywhere. Seven. And let's say he makes two of those. That's not – That's not. hold on. That's not irrational to say he's going to shoot seven. Darvin Hale, AD to shoot six. And Damo going out of his mind. So that is the new norm. That is the new norm for what they want. No, it's not ticket. And, and we and we gotta hold on. Let, let, let's 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 chill out on what we're doing right now. So number one, we saw him in two preseason games, right? So he went up against Chet in the in the first preseason game, and he looked really good. I'm not gonna fight that. He looked really good. But what we completely discount in is the guys that he was going up against. You're talking about teams not playing great defense in the regular season. Yes, they do. That's how you become the best defense in the league, and it translates into the playoffs. So, yes, they do play great defense. Cleveland played great defense all season. Boston Celtics played great defense all season, which is why they went deep into the playoffs when they did. So, the point that I'm making here is Victor Wambanyama That's is not going to be going – Victor Wambanyama is not going to be going up against – High Smith. He's going to be going up against Bam and that Miami Heat defense. He's not going to be going up against New Orleans' third guy. He's going to be going up against Valentino and that New Orleans defense. You think That's Bam what he's is going to be going up And what we're talking about here is we're talking about an 18 year old kid. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about a guy who's two, three, four years seasoned in the NBA who still doesn't know the pro game yet. What? He's still trying he's to figure it out. Well, he's he's you keep saying he's been playing pro. Yes, he has been playing pro. However, he hasn't been playing in the NBA. Now, don't get me wrong. That's do easier. Believe, That's I, easier. I do believe that this guy is an anomaly. He's like nothing that I've ever seen. But to say that this guy is going to average almost 30 a game. That's for easier. For a guy 18 Jill? years old. Yeah, the game is today. Hold on, Bob. How much does this guy average his rookie year? How much does he average his rookie year? Bob, let me ask you a question, Bob. Bob, let me ask you a question. And he had the ball, by the way. It would be hard for him to be Bob and Ron. They were running the old team. 
would it be harder for you to get your stuff off overseas in Euroleague or in the NBA? It's going to be way easier. That's why Luca came and told y'all. It's way easier in the NBA. And way if it's that easier, easier, he averaged 20 when, games. When, Wemby wasn't in the Euroleague last year. He no, I'm saying, no, 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 I'm saying, no, I'm saying, and I'm saying, but in Europe, in Europe, in Europe, in Europe, that style of basketball, Bob know this, Ron know this, the courts are more closed. It ain't no space to really operate and do all the stuff you really want to do. That's why whenever he comes to the States, he destroy everything moving because the game is so open. The floor, everything's about spacing in the NBA. The game is so open. Overseas, you're making passes, cutting through, dudes is bumping you. They're not calling it, all kind of stuff. Now, they're not letting you do all that. The rest is on the whistle. The game is more open. You can get one step you to the basket. This is facts. The game is played more up and down at a higher sp- uh, pace. These are the facts. That's why when Team USA goes over there, y'all always talk about, oh, we got to adjust to their style. When, when we're supposed to be the best, we're supposed, we supposed to dictate the pace in our style. But you can't. They still can't dictate the pace they want to dictate over there with those NBA players. But well, guess what? When them European players coming over, over to the States, they cracking dudes' heads open. Point blank, period. And so, uh, what I'm saying to you is, hold on, Chill Town. What I'm saying to y'all is this. I would understand, Chill Town, if we talking about somebody that's normal. This dude is not normal. He's supposed to be the greatest prospect ever known to mankind. But these, but these, but these cats in the comments talking about the French league that he was playing in is weak. Like it might not be the Euro league, but that that league is not weak. Thank like, you, Bob. The top, Thank the top, you, the top, the top, the top French, the, the top, the top league in France is a is a great league. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's not the Euro league, but it, y'all, y'all just talking man. that top league in Europe is is very difficult. Y'all don't, y'all. If if I was to ask y'all to name me three teams in the French league, y'all wouldn't even be able to name one. That's first off. So don't comment on a league that you've never, never seen. Only time you've seen it is Victor Women Yama highlights. Second off, a lot of you guys don't know the French league is the most translatable league to the NBA because it's the fastest league in Europe. So that's that's why, like, it's it's a it's a good indicator of what somebody would come over here and do. If you look at the French league, it's the most athletic league in Europe. It's the fastest pace in Europe. But it's still a European style of basketball. It's 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 a lot of athletes over there. So it, it's like a combination of the, of the Euro League slash the NBA. So that's why, like somebody like Victor playing in that, you're able to look at that and say, okay, this will be able to translate a lot more easier to the NBA. You you kind of get a sneak peek of it. So with that being said, like then that's why I told you guys a lot of what Victor did over there. I can see him coming over here and doing. Remember when I was telling you guys, I could see a lot of his handles translating. I could see a lot of his shot shot making and shot creation being able to translate over to the NBA because the French league is very comparable. Obviously, it's not the NBA. It's not the athlete, not the same amount of athletes, not the same amount of skill, not the same game exactly, but it's it's very translatable. But what's good, Domo? Talk to us. I just want to remind everybody the context of what we're talking about. We're talking about Victor Wimbiamba, who's seven four, freak of nature, going up against Orlando Robinson and Thomas Bryant. Um, I understand he is very impressive. I'm super high on the kid. I'm super high on a lot of these young players, a lot of these rookies. I'm super high on, them. not doubting them. I'm just saying, let's tamper down the expectations because we're watching him play Thomas Bryant and Orlando Robinson. Oh, now the game before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and what now, I was saying now was what? Now was what? Now was what, Bob? But when because when I was saying it's about the preseason with the with the whole chat and windy shit, you somebody else and somebody else jumped on me talking about no, but the preseason is this, the preseason is that. Yeah, and you was to, to, to build, to build and what am I and I, was like, now? I, and I was like, but it's just the preseason. But now it's just Thomas Robinson. You were saying you you were saying what that Chet saying? should have you were saying you Chet should have guarded Wimby the whole time. You we, they should have matched up more. You said they should have matched up more, they should have took the challenge, all that. I said the Thunder were running the defense they plan to run against the Spurs and every other team throughout the season because they're building habits. You were like, Oh, it's just the preseason. I said, Oh no, the preseason is being used to build good habits, it's not meaningless. That's what I said. In this situation, I am saying mm-hmm. to say Vic is going to go out there and drop 30 a game because he just dominated Thomas Robinson or Orlando or Thomas Bryant or Orlando Robinson is crazy to me. And if Domo, he Domo, he's face he's like, facing cats like that on on every other night. Not every team has no, a bam, a bam at a bio. 
Not every team has a Bam Adebayo. So you're telling me we can do this, and we always do this. We can go. We can go down the list of all the teams of who's going to guard Ruby. Show me the starting centers that's the defensive caliber of time. But see that that okay, and and here's the thing though, and not every center is gonna guard him. It's gonna be some centers or some fours, but he has a mismatch and a disadvantage with anybody that guards him. Again, again, cool. I understand that. And like I said, in the situation with the Thunder, yes, if they have guys that are small, if they have fours on it's gonna be a mismatch problem. I give you that. But if he's actually guarding center, if centers are actually guarding him, it might look a bit different. And everyone isn't Thomas fucking Bryant on defense. I, I understand every team doesn't have the best defender in the league. I understand, oh, man, everyone doesn't have Giannis. Everyone doesn't have AD. Everybody doesn't have Bam. But there are a lot of guys who are defensively sound and a lot better compared to Thomas Bryant. Damo, I'm here to tell you. I'm, I'm here to tell you, bro. You, you're going to say AD. You're going to say Bam. You're going to say Giannis. And then I don't know who else you're going to say after that. But you're going to say, you're going to say these top group of guys. And I'm here to tell you, they're going to get cooked by Wimby too. Cooked. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm here to tell you, bro, they're going to. And here, here's, here's what a lot of it is based on. Here's, here's what a lot of it is based on. And I'm going to tell you why Wimby's unguardable. And he's going to, he's going to score 14 to 16 easy points a game off tip dunks, putbacks. Um, when you remember when that dunk that he got on Thomas Bryant, it was nothing Thomas Bryant or anybody in that position could have did. Rudy Gobert would have got dunked on right there. I'm going to tell you why. What's his name? Dr drove to the rim. Thomas Bryant, go watch the highlight. Thomas Bryant had to step up, and he dropped the ball off to Thomas Bryant. All Wimby did was catch the ball, take one dribble, and left hand dunked it over the top of him. You can't guard that if you have to step over and, and guard the, the person that's penetrating. What can you do? So I'm saying he's going to score 14 to 16 points off of that a game and catch and shoots. The dude can shoot the fucking ball. He's having a difficult time with this dude walking in the door. Don't get me wrong. I've seen guys who are anomalies. I haven't seen anything like Wimby, sure. But to say that this dude is 20, 25 or more a game on average with the amount of games, that the, with the amount of games, with the amount of track, all of this stuff that's going on with him, who's never played in the NBA, and for how long he's had to do it, for his first year, to say that this guy is going to completely dominate the league in year one, that's like right, nobody right? we've never seen, I'm not buying it. Do no, I think he's going to be awesome? Hold on, hold on. Yes. That, that means you're going against – hold on. That means that means your ass would have never been hired in any front office in the NBA because that is the reason why every team wanted to get Victor Wimbayama. That's because not the point, you, Ticket. You completely oh, – no, no Ticket, you're turning this into something completely hey, different. Dude, no, 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 no. There's no, nobody who hires somebody on the first job. Of, there's nobody who hires somebody and immediately thinks this person, when we get him – it's going to be awesome they like say, you've never seen. They were saying it the whole time, chill. They were talking about that dude a goddamn lie. Hold on, Ron. Was they not Don't saying the wrong. whole time? The number one prospect. No question about that. But for what NBA you're history. talking about, from what you're talking about, like I said, the last rookie to average 28 a game was in 1984-85. That was you're Jay. Well, you're wrong and nobody this, thought you're Jay was going to be that good when he showed up. Nobody. And if I'm wrong on this ticket, I will eat it. If I'm wrong on this, I will wear it. Yes, I will. I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I will wear it. But if you wrong, like when you are wrong, you will admit that you're wrong. What's that shoe you wear, Chill Town? It was just called Wimby a bus. Yeah, and guess what? And that's why I don't like this conversation. He's just going to call Wimby a bus if he doesn't do it. And I'm not letting him off the hook with that, Mars. I will not let him off the hook with that. No way. If if Wimby averages 18, 8, and 2 blocks, and Ticket tries to come up here and say he's a bust, I'm not letting him off the hook with that. You're not here. No hold way. On. Hold on. Hell, I hear everything that you're saying, Ticket. You're selling me that that, 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 that Wimbyama is the best prospect in NBA history. He LeBron is. James showed, and LeBron James showed up, and he averaged 21 a game. As the, best project, as the best prospect in NBA history. Ralph Sampson showed up in 1983. He averaged 21 a game as a rookie. Magic Johnson showed up, revolutionized the game. He averaged 18 a game as a rookie. The game is more wide open now. To say that a guy who has never played in the NBA at 18 years old is going to average almost 30 a game, but yes. if he doesn't, if he averages 20 or if he averages 19, he's a bust. I'm not letting you off the hook with that. Yes, he's I'm a not. Hold on. He's a I'm bust. Not. Hold on. He's a bust I will on. not. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. He's a bust based off those expectations that have been placed on him because the scouts – 
because the people that have recruited him have said that he is the greatest prospect ever in NBA history and he will go down to be the greatest player in the history of the NBA. That is what they said about this dude before he got drafted. That is why Greg Popovich and their whole organization did everything possible to get their hands on this kid, bro. I trust Pop, not you, Chilltown. So like I said before, and somebody got to echo, but like I said before, Chilltown, and I'm going to say it to you again, bro. You, sir, are going to look like a damn fool on here because he's already in 20 minutes in the preseason averaging 21 and a half points. Once he gets set up, to, hold on. Once he gets that, once he gets set up to 33 minutes a game, I'm telling you, he's going to be right around 25, 26 points a game because of how he plays. He doesn't play the, 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 the natural come back down, post up, slow game. Well, a, no, this dude plays a, a fast, quick, quick hitting game, bro. He's going to get up six to seven threes a game, chill. He's going to get up the mid-range shots. He's not hesitating on shooting that. Anytime he get the ball, he's either passing it, shooting it, and going quick. He ain't holding I can't believe I'm actually having this conversation where 19 from a rookie might be a bad thing. I'm like, like 19 again from on, a guy who's on, on, on the worst team in the league, arguably, is going to be 19 and 9 and three blocks. But you know what? That wasn't good at all. You okay, suck cool. because okay, everybody hey, thought hey. that you were going to be the best prospect, even though we just got the job. Right. Chill, was that hey, saying? Dude, Chill, some, dude, somebody – because I wasn't here yesterday. Tiki, did you say that? He said – what, 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 what I just, what, what, what I just, I just said, with one, the Chill. expectations that Ticket is putting on him, if Wimby goes 19-9 in two blocks, he is a bust. Ticket just said that. Bust. Ticket, you said that? You believe that, Ticket? Bust. Because I'm going to tell you why. You can't be the greatest prospect in the history of the NBA and not do I'll do what Michael Jordan did coming in the league. Michael you Jordan wasn't Michael Jordan. You're not wasn't hearing me. I'm not, you're not hearing me. You just you're said, ticket. There you're was no expectation point, for Jordan point. like that when he you're first walked in the door. Bro. No, I'm not, point. Point. no I'm not missing your point. No, I'm not missing your point. What you're telling me you're is, is that Michael point. Jordan, you're, what you're telling me is that Victor Wambanyama is considered the best prospect in the history of the NBA. So what Jordan did in 1984, he should be able to surpass that because he's better as a prospect. He should be able to do that. Which, by the way, nobody thought Jordan would be. And by the way, Lajuan was the was the was was the better. No, 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 that's that a goddamn draft. lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold with on. that being said, you're a liar. That, you're a liar. Hold on. I'm and I'm lying? going to that. Hold on. You are liar. Yeah, hold on. Dean Smith Bobby, said he's the best player ever. Bobby, Bobby, nah, hold on, hold on. No, that's not, that's not a lie. Yeah, hold on. This fool's a liar. Hold on. I'm lying because Bobby Knight said he was the best player that he ever seen. I'm going to Bobby, you okay. Right now. I'm going no, to you're not exposing you right anything. Oh, Even though, what, Bobby, did Bobby, so, what did Bobby Knight say about Michael Jordan that, before he came to the That he's the, the best. he's the best player that he ever seen. Thank Bobby you. Knight said that. Well, on, meanwhile, what else did he say? What meanwhile, else did he say? meanwhile, what else did he, say? Me, me, he said he's the best player that he ever seen. He said, meanwhile, no, he said he's the greatest me, player, he's player he's ever seen. Period. Yes, he, I so just said that. That's what I just said. Go ahead, chill. Go ahead. Hold on, ticket. Let let chill finish. Meanwhile, what? Meanwhile, Hakeem Meanwhile, Hakeem Olajuwon, who showed up to the NBA. Was in a big man era, in a big man era, goes before him. And the reason why he goes before him, why? Because he's the five man of the future. That's why. Because Bobby Knight said he was the best player ever. So you said nobody was saying it. So I gave you somebody. You said nobody was saying it, and I gave you somebody. So you're a lying ass dude right there. I, I caught I caught your ass already. You said nobody was saying it, but one of the biggest figures in basketball at that time, one of the hard noses coaches. In basketball okay. at that time was saying it point blank. Hold on, okay, hold so, on, so, okay. hold on. I let you talk. Not only that, they were also saying that the only thing that could stop Michael Jordan in North Carolina was Dean Smith sitting him on the yeah, bench. And you know I ain't lying about that. No, you yeah, that, that's so not a that, that's not a lie. Right, that, 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 that part that that part that part is that part is correct. That part is correct. But are we talking about Michael Jordan? Because what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna turn this into a Michael Jordan conversation. We're talking about the best prospect in NBA history. That's what we're talking about. And we're talking about in the in the 80s, which was a big man league, and Hakeem Olajuwon, who was on a team that was in the national championship and in the final four, and he was the future of what the NBA is as a big man. The future of what the NBA is as a big man. And if the Houston Rockets, as good as Jordan was, as good as Jordan was, they were not interested in Michael Jordan. Hakeem Olajuwon was their guy because he was a better that? prospect and he was a big, no. Do you think they regret that? No, they do not. He's a guy. No, they don't. No, they don't. 
No, they don't. Take on this liar. This dude's a okay. guy. Hey, Rob, hey, hold on, Rob. Hey, Rob, hold on, Rob. I'm going to show you how much he's a liar. He don't tell me. Hold on, Rob. He's the best player in the history of your organization. You don't know that Jordan would have been that good in Houston. Do you know? Wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. Ticket, question. Do you know that Michael Jordan would have been as good as he was with Chicago? He would have been that good in Houston? Yes, it's Michael Jordan. Well, he would have been that good in Houston. Now, if I say so, so now if I say so, now if I so if I say hold on, hold on, back with ticket. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish his point. So if I say to you, ticket, so so no, you no ticket. You and I are doing this. So if I say to you, ticket, what are you basing that on? Nigga, his game. I was saying to you again. So he would have done that anywhere. So if he would have got drafted to Houston, if he would have got drafted to whoever drafted him, what he did in Chicago, he would have done that anywhere. First of all, if he would have been that's a on, yes or no on, question, hold ticket. Hold on. Stay yes, on, on point. On. Do yeah, not get on. no. Yes, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, he he would have done question. that anywhere. Yes. Oh, Is that what we're doing? Question. Can I answer your question? Yes, because if he would went to Portland, he wins multiple championships with Clyde. They were on the board. If he goes to Seattle, he would have won multiple championships with Gary and them. If anywhere he would have went, he would have won multiple. Later. You're not Six hearing me. Right? Hold on, I'm hold hearing on. everything that you're saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, chill, hold on, chill. Right, and they was in their prime then. So I'm telling you, anywhere he would have went, Michael Jordan would have been successful. Had he would have went to Orlando, he would have ended up being successful. They would have. Uh, Orlando uh, didn't even exist. Later. No, no, I'm saying they were a team that came along later. I'm just saying. No, this is the, I, the I know they was that any team that he saying, went to. Any team he had and went how? To. And, and 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 you know what you're doing, ticket right now? What you're doing is you're making an assumption, which is not. I'm a not lie. making an assumption. Hold on. I'm telling you. Hold this, on. Hold this, on. This, this is not a. This is not a lie. Okay, no, what this is is you're making an assumption because you. Let me go. I'm not making no assumption. I'm telling you, every see this is what they do on players' choice, and y'all get mad at me for telling the goddamn on truth on here. Before Michael Jordan came into the league, everybody and they got that on mama knew he was the deal. They all knew it. And Chilltown was there a lot of y'all and tell y'all that if every team in the 1984 draft had a chance to go back and redo the draft, he telling me that they wouldn't pick Mike. Man, no, man, 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 man. Man, send this dude <laughs> hell, Ron. So, hey, take it, you, take it, you, you echoing right now. I don't, I don't know what it is, but we, get, we got to fix that echo. Ron, Ron, so you, are you? Do y'all agree with that? Do Bob? Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. No, based nah, nah, on nah. what we know, do you think that they could have redid the draft? They have took Hakeem over Mike Steele. Based on what we know, we know every team in the league would have taken Jordan first. Thank you. Team, so chill, team chill, get off that. Based on what we know, I'll give you that. You muted, chill, chill. You muted. You muted, chill. He needed to, need to, need to be muted. He needed to be muted and gagged and thrown somewhere. In the <laughs> I want to. What, what, what I want to make sure that we clear on. I want to make sure that we clear on. We're talking about Victor Wambayama as the best prospect in NBA history. I want to make sure that we stay on point here. The best prospect in NBA history, Michael Jordan in 1984, who was coming out of the draft as the National Player of the Year, one of the best players in the country, Hakeem Olajuwon, the best big man in the country. The fact that they, the fact that the Portland Trailblazers passed on him, that was a problem. Him getting, him going to Houston and becoming everything that he became. How do I know for a fact that if Jordan is in Houston, do they manage him? Do they build that unit around him like they did in Chicago? I don't know that for a fact. So I don't know that Jordan's going to average thirty-five a game or thirty-seven a game when he's in Houston. I don't know that he when he's with Ralph Sampson. I don't know that he's going to average twenty-nine. Or 30, why is it a lie, Ticket? Lying. Why? You don't you're fucking lying, know. Bro. So they're going to stop Mike from averaging 35. They're going to stop Mike from Hold on, Ron. You wasn't there. Think about what he just said, You don't Ron. even know. Ron. Think about what this man just said. You, you don't know. Mike, hold on. You think you're going Mike off of assumptions. You're hold going on. off of what the Chicago Bulls did for Michael Jordan. You're not going off what Houston would have done They put a team around the king, right? They put a team around the king. And 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 what happened in nineteen? He won a chip. He won two chips. And if I'm not if I'm not chips? mistaken, Hakeem Olajuwon asked to be traded in nineteen ninety. He won two he chips, right? He, did he not ask to be traded in nineteen ninety? Did he take an injury did because he was so he, he was so fed chips? up? He was so fed up because of what was going on. Yes or no? So the point that I'm making, so the point that I'm making is that we don't know how they would have built that unit around Jordan. We don't. Man, we have no idea head head how they would have built that. Head so head for head your, head so for you, so head for head you to head sit head here and say that a guy like Victor Wambanyama, who the San Antonio Spurs are going to build this unit around, and he's going to be successful, but for him to be what Jay was when he first showed up, twenty-eight a game, and, and if I'm not mistaken, Jordan was second team All NBA. 
at 28 a game when he first showed up. I think he was 28 a game. So, so, so if Victor Wembanyama, if he's going to do what you think he's going to do, 25 plus double digit rebounds, two, three blocks a game, San Antonio, I don't, I think they're still going to be garbage. So I'd be surprised if he's that good. He's going to be an all. I, I would be really surprised. He's going to be an all star rookie year. And I'm going to say this to everybody watching this video today. I promise y'all this. I don't care if y'all go against me in the chat room. I don't care how Damo's looking, how any of these dudes are looking. Ron, from starting from game one, when they play the maps, I'm coming on this channel and we're going live right after that game. I'm kicking your ass from game, and game one. one? I'm telling you, we're going to be there. We're gonna be there. One, from game one, I swear to God, y'all, I'm going to turn PC mm -hmm. all the way up. From game when they play the Dallas Mavs and he comes out dropping 30 on opening night, chill town. I'm on your ass like right on right. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here hey, for it sir. You better run from me because I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not going nowhere. Right. I'm here for it. I, I, I am here for it. And the reason why and the reason why and the reason why I'm here, the reason why I'm here for a ticket, because I'm going to be here the entire season to watch him play. I'm not gonna be here for game one or game four when he's 22 and 12. Okay. I'm still okay. going to be here when okay. he's 13 and 6 right. and they get okay. blown out. I'm okay. still going to be here when he goes 27 and 12. I'm still going to be right here. You, on the other hand, will disappear when he's 14 and 8. I want you, on the other hand, sucker. Yeah, ticket. You're going to run from the grind. You, you okay. sucker, will disappear when he's 19 and 6 and they've lost their fourth straight game. Me, on the other hand, I'm still going to be here when he's 23 and 12 and they've won two straight games because I'm going to be here for the entire season to see this guy turn into what I think he's going to be because I think he's going to be the rookie of the year. I think he's going to be around 18, 19 a game, nine rebounds, two blocks. I think he's going to be awesome. So hold on, hold on, make hold on. sure make sure that you remember that part. So I'll drop a poll, Ron. Hey, Ron, drop a poll right now. I need everybody to tell us right now. Are y'all riding with Chill Town on this? Or y'all riding with me? Drop a poll right now, Ron. I'll cause I need to know where everybody's standing right now. Cause when Ron, 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 because after this happens, y'all think I'm uncontrollable now and unbearable now. When Wimby does what I say he's gonna do, when I take this little punk fake ass Jim Jones uh thousand dollars, bro. Y'all hey man, listen, they might as well shut the internet down, bro. They might I'm definitely well more handsome down. than Jim Jones. Uh, that's what I say. I want to quickly add to the Wemby thing. So Pop since in, in 25 since 98 season, 25 season, twice there's been a guy who's average, who's averaged 25 points in a season in those 25 years. Once it was Tim Duncan, once it was Kawhi Leonard. Now I understand it's a different league, it's a higher scoring league. And Wemby, you could clearly say is, is a better, you know, prospect than those guys. But I do think in Greg Popovich's system and the way he coaches the way they play as a team, it's gonna be hard for an individual to average 25, especially in his rookie season. And two, I think for the Spurs to be successful, I don't think they need 27 and eight and, and that for Wemby. I think if he gives them, like Chilton says, 18, 19, and nine and plays elite defense, that he's going to be their defensive anchor for them. Because if he's giving you 27 and eight and is a top 10 defender league or top five, like you want to say, he's an MVP candidate. That, that's a top five MVP candidate if, if he's going to give you top five level defense and give you 27 and nine. And I just don't think a rookie is going to come and do that. Oh, okay. Hey, Jalen. Jalen, that's okay. Jalen. Yeah. Just make sure you have my money and all Always ready. Rooms. Oh, was I go? Okay, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm taking your money and I'm going with low to the strip club. KOD, talk about it. It. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take your money. I'm getting myself a new LeBron jersey. Matter of fact, I might send you a LeBron jersey too. I might nah, send I'll you reject, a LeBron I'll reject jersey. That, I'll reject that deposit. I will reject that deposit. You give it to Bob. I'm send Bob it to you. Where let, let, let Bob and them in Sacramento burn it or something like that. I, I get to give it to Bob. Yeah, we'll do that. Let, we'll let them step on it. They'll do the right thing with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, we got it. We got to keep it pushing. That was the fire ass opening segment. Um, how you guys feeling after yesterday? How was yesterday's episode? It was great. Like that first, like that first half an hour. Oh shit! Uh, hold on, Ron. Hold on. What's up? I wasn't here to, I wasn't here to defend my baby. Y'all not finna go. We not going out like that. Ooh, oh, no. really? oh, no. Bring the pill over here. Y'all got y'all shit, shit off, so let me get mine off too. Because uh are we not we are we gonna be surprised that that the, the Liberty finally decided to have a good game? Like that's no big deal. That shit happens. That shit happens. They had a good game, but come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on, because everything, everything that happened to everything that just happened that game three, Edge was doing that and more in game one and game two. So what you think will happen in game four? Like, come on, come on, Chip, don't, 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 
don't don't get all overzealous because they find they, they didn't get swept. Like you you think the like is that a big deal that the Liberty didn't get swept? And all you know, you 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 the defense, uh, what 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 Jacquel did that I was I wasn't tripping on that defensively. Smacking Kelsey Plum shot into the second row and Stewie smacking it back in AJ Wilson's face. I I ain't tripping on that. What I'm what I want to make sure that we clear on is how Asia Wilson, the defensive player of the year, mm -hmm. didn't get exposed, but she was put on notice that I'm not running away from you. And Jacquel was making it clear that she was that. demanding the basketball. And then the, and the difference and the difference in the game was those guards played better. Sabrina played better because Jacquel I mean, been doing what she's been doing the entire exactly. series. That's, that's no question saying. about that. Exactly. The guards played better. And if the guards can just be solid and don't get me and, and, and be clear about this, Ops, Kel, losing Kelsey, losing Kelsey Gray is going to be a big deal, even though when she got hurt, they already had control of that game. It was a two possession yeah, game. Yeah. They, they, they did have control of that game, but even still, with her not being on the floor, that's going to be a big deal. Them running that offense, every series is different. And them running that offense through Kelly, them running that offense through Jacquel, who goes after, who goes mm -hmm. after Asia Wilson, mm -hmm. it's going to be big for her. It's going to be big for this Liberty team. We got we we, we got a ball game tomorrow night. We got a ball Yo, game. hold up. How, how long is how long is Chelsea Gray out? Right quick, Ox. How long is Chelsea Gray out? Well, we don't know. We, we don't. We, we don't know bad, if she's going to play or not. I'm, look, I'm going to tell you this, Ox. If that girl don't tie her shoes up, put her jersey on, and she walk out, out on that floor, she going out there. She you, the, the 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 Las Vegas Aces might as well just take their flights back. Don't okay, don't no, even no, set no, foot no, in the no, arena. No, 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 don't no, don't show up. Okay, Ron, I heard you. I heard you. But you were saying all the shit you were saying about game one, game two. You said all the shit before, and you was wrong then, and you're wrong now. Look. The the now Chelsea Chelsea Gray that is the point guy Chelsea is the the Finals MVP of last year, but mm -hmm. Kelsey Plum Kelsey Plum is good enough to get us one. Kelsey Kelsey Plum is good enough to carry us to one. We don't like with all the, with all the respect, Chelsea. You can sit down. You can you can get help. Damn. You can sit down. And you can get help. We, look, the ace is good. The ace is Damn. good without Chelsea. They still good without No, they not. <laughs> no, they <laughs> are not. Like saying, well, Jamal you Murray sitting out here lying. Hey, Jamal you, Murray, we can, you lying we can through your teeth, boy. We could beat these dudes without you in this game. You, the clincher, by the way, if they're up 3 1, Jamal Murray, you ain't got to play this game. We could beat these dudes without you in this game. No, that's not. No, no, they're good. They're good. They're good. Like, Kelsey, Kelsey got us. Kelsey good. She all right. She all right. She's going out there tomorrow night, though. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I haven't really seen what, what exactly what it was, but it looked it looked pretty bad though. So you yes. know, I hope I, I hope it's not as bad as it looked. But even if so, though, like I said, Kelsey Plum, Kelsey Plum got it. She 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 can get one. She's gonna go out there though, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm confident in that. She's definitely gonna go out there. But telling y'all, Chelsea, the ringleader. You know that that's like when you pull up with your boys to uh to to go pull up on the on the other crew over there, but you leave your biggest dog at home or a person who's the hardest in your crew at home. Everybody ain't yapping as much. Everybody ain't as active. Everybody ain't as tough all of a sudden. Just don't stick Chelsea out. is. She's the one who puts the battery in everybody's back. You, what, what you think? What you think, Ron? You think AJ going to tuck tail? Are you crazy? Come all right, on, I'm bro. telling you. Hey, Asia, 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 Asia ain't quite as hard. Hey, she ain't quite as hard without Chelsea. Kelsey, Kelsey Plum, I love Kelsey. She's one of my favorites. She, hey, she ain't quite as hard without Chelsea. Can you mute him, Mars? Can you mute him, Mars? I just want to talk, right. I, I just want to make I, I just want to make sure it's known because I know you're an Asia Wilson fan and I dig Asia Wilson too. But Jacquel giving her the work she's looking for. That work you're looking for, defensive player of the year, is right over here. And I'm giving you all of it. All of it. Taking and her on the box. Bully and uh Bully ball That's playing you know. in the mid range, not just playing in the mid range. Step backs. You are going to have to work against me. Yes, you are. This is not. A, this is not going to be a walk in the park like it was when y'all played against Dallas. This is not a walk in the park. I'm giving you all the work you're looking for. All I need is for my guards to just be solid. I'll bring us home. As you know, as you know, Chelsea, once you, when you when you at that level of competition, you can be the best defender on the court, but you're still going to get. You're still going to take some work home, which. And that's and that's mm -hmm. and that's how and that's and that's how it's been. Jock Welvin, Jock Welvin getting hers. 
It's just that, you know, Jack, Jackie, Chelsea, they weren't hitting all the shots they were, but Kelsey Plum is consistently giving it to Sabrina. She's consistently giving it to Courtney Vandersloot. And she's going to continue to do that. I got oh, to- oh, and another I'm thing. Y'all hey, Captain Marvel ain't, Marvel ain't even showed up yet. I'm That's telling y'all, true. game four, <laughs> game four. <laughs> Captain Marvel ain't even showed up yet. I'm telling, I'm telling, so now what y'all going to do? Like this. I'm telling you like this. When game, when game four come around, Kelsey Plum is going to have the best game of her of the playoffs, the best game of her young career. Oh, like, just, just like she did game one in the last game? She's just going to continue to get better and better and better? Be ready for this game. Be ready for this game four from Kelsey Plum. That's all I'm saying. Just, Sabrina's gonna have a Sabrina's coach. gonna have a big game eventually. Man, Sabrina Kelsey, can't, Sabrina can't Sabrina can't tie Kelsey nor Kelsey shoes. That's not Captain Marvel, Jalen. I'm I, talking I about Brianna Stewart, fool. I'm talking about the she MVP was, of the she WNBA. She was cool. She was cool. No, 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 no. She, Jalen, she was cool. She was cool. Was she the best player on the court? You see what I'm saying? I see. Like, okay, okay, she, like, like Bri- Brianna ain't even woke up yet. She ain't even got out of bed yet. She ain't even brushed her teeth. What what happens, what happens when she puts on her shoes and it's like, all right, this my shit. Like it's been. Then what? Ron, so wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, Ron. Because that's, that's fucking ridiculous. Just, <laughs> What's ridiculous? Just, just listen to what I'm saying, bro. Because that's fucking dumb, nigga. Like, if you're the be- if you're the best player and you're telling me, oh, I, I wasn't playing. I, I didn't get out of bed until game four. I don't want to hear that shit. So ba- based on how she's played, can she play better? Can she play better than what she's played? Can she play better than what she's played? Can she play better than what she? It's an obvious question, so you you don't have to answer that. We all know she can play better than what she's played, and we're gonna expect her to play better than what she's played. So in game, so, so again, I'm not saying she wasn't trying. I'm not saying she wasn't trying. You could try and have bad games. It happens all the time. You can hey, you cannot try and have good games. It happens. I'm, what I'm saying is the real, the, real, the real MVP, the real MVP is gonna show y'all ass something. Yeah, what's we'll, what we'll, we'll see after game five. Like she's been waiting, I, I, I digress because you know because we got we got casuals in the chat. I don't want nobody to leave because we're talking about some real basketball right now. So go ahead, we can we can move on. I just, I just couldn't believe Dub let y'all get that off yesterday and didn't, didn't even say nothing in response to it. That was crazy, Dub. There was nothing to say. There was nothing to say. Nothing Dug, to do say. better, Dug. Oh, there was Ooh. nothing to say. Your, 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 girl, got, Asia, got, your girl Asia got outplayed in game four, in game three. Your girl Asia got outplayed in game in, in game three. Vandersloot showed up. You got better it's guard play. Hell so, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got and I, I got off. I got off. You heard me, Ron. I got I got off. I got off the plane. It was five minutes left in the show. Hey, bro, look. Keep Courtney name out your mouth. Courtney, sorry, bro. All right. Remember that. Remember that. Yeah, can't, 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 can't run. I remember that. Before you move up this woman's thing, I want to say this. Shout out to Bob and you guys for keeping them women in the limelight. I would like to see the women support the men, though. I don't see all Ticket, you ain't not ticket. That is not no nonsense what you're talking about. Facts, man. These chicks need to be at more games, yo. They do. Hey, they, they, the, the Liberty was at the next game last night, though. Hey, 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 hey but hold up though, ticket right quick, right quick. The, the Liberty was at the Brooklyn Nets game last night. The whole all, 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 all about seven of them sitting courtside. I'm talking about I don't see it enough. I see more right. guys, more right. superstars in the NBA supporting the women's basketball. You see Bob coming in here supporting the women's ba- consistently. And you right. don't see them doing that for the brothers, man. Right. They might have Not one or two while. girls that's working on TV and stuff like that, right. bro. Bro, they, and they all they want somebody to support and help. The brothers is actually trying to help uplift their league and bring more attention to it. The fact that Bob and y'all guys are talking about this is kind of helping because I'm seeing I was reading reports on them that the ratings had went up for women's basketball and stuff like that. That's all because of guys like Bob and you guys and everybody that's talking about this stuff now because people used to not care, but they got to care too. They need to they need to get their ass, get your ass out there. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you doing, whatever, get your ass out there and support the brothers too. Is it fair to say that a lot of these women are got to got to play overseas to supplement their income so they can't really be here watching yeah. NBA games? In They're a little more busy. No, I ain't saying. But even, well, about, well, well, even even if that hold on, take it. Even if that even if that's true, those those games overseas, their season is over in February. The, that's half of the NBA that's season. Not, that's not, no, that's no, not no, true. no, it's that's not true. true. Because a, a lot, a lot, a lot of what are they done? Because the WNBA season starts in May. Remember, so when remember, remember, a, lot, remember a lot of remember a lot, a lot of girls, a lot of women don't. Even, they're not even back until two, two, two weeks, two weeks until the, until their WNBA season. Right. A lot of women are like, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving my my your my your my your league team or my my WNBL team down in, in Australia or right. whatever whichever league they might be playing in in Russia. They don't leave until that season's over because they're getting paid more there. So right. sometimes, sometimes they don't come. They don't come home until 
game three, game two of, of their season. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so this season is still going on is what you're saying. Yeah, like but a lot of the when the WNBA season starts, so when the WNBA season starts, their season over in Europe is it, still going it, on. It, it depends. Obviously, 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 it depends on what 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 league they're in. If they're right. resident in Australia, Russia, whatever, wherever they right. are, and also, also, it depends on. Uh, it depends on if they playoffs. You know, if they playoff runs. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You know, no, like hey, hold on, hold on. To the girl in the comment section, Maria knows best. No, we gonna do that. Because Kyrie Irving was one of the biggest supporters of women's basketball, and as soon as he had some adversity, you had women's basketball uh, players on ESPN throwing him under the bus. And he was the one sending money trying to help keep the league going when they was going through the struggle during the pandemic. So yes, well, we well, with, that, with that being said, with that being said, to get, with that being said, to get, now I'm not saying I'm not saying I stand against uh Kyrie Irving because I was I was a supporter of Kyrie. I, I, there were some questionable things I was, you know, but, right. but this I gotta ask you, I gotta ask you this. So if somebody over there disagrees with what Kyrie does, are they supposed to pretend like they don't? I didn't say that. Money I, I didn't, I, I'm not, hold on. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Kyrie Irving willingly put his money where his mouth was to help them before all this stuff happened. And then mm -hmm. when he hit a little bit of adversity, you had girls like Shanae and these girls on national TV throwing them under the bus. Like, you right. ain't got to participate in that. Because he tried to – he literally helped and put his money to save the WNBA. To make sure girls was getting their salary when people when they was complaining about people not getting the money, yeah. so all the time. Shout out, Kyrie. Girls been complaining, but you had guys like Draymond Green. All these people speaking up, so these girls would get their salary, get more money. They all these brothers is brothers that are fighting for them, so they should be doing the same damn thing. The same way I see Mikael Bridges going out here supporting all these women from all the different. I see him everywhere. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. More women, and don't tell me all the women going overseas because they ain't half of them out here working jobs in the off season mm -hmm. in the states, so they can do it. All they got to yeah, do, but 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 the, but the, how that's, do you that's, know that's they're not saying. going to games? Ticket, hold, hold on, how do I know? Nigga, I know yeah. niggas at the game. I know, bro, and you don't hold on, tell me, and they're and telling we, you there's no WNBA players. I mean, there's 18,000 people in those arenas. I mean, the camera would be on them, though, if they're at the game, not, not, not necessarily, Jalen. They're, they're not as famous as NBA players. When Mikael Bridges goes to an NBA game, you know he's there because they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna spotlight it. When, when Major, I'm talking about the major players in the WNBA. Yeah, Kelsey Plum, the though. Major player, they know who they are, Ron. They know, and, and okay, listen, but when they go, they do shout them out on TV when they go. They do shout them out on TV when they go. When ticket, one what one, one thing, one about thing about televised. how you know they're not at that uh, at those games. Are you watching all the NBA TV yeah, games? Hold on, hold on, bro. I'm they're pulling you, up I'm to Minnesota play Detroit. I'm gonna say it to you right, that? I'm gonna say it to you right now, bro. I'm gonna put this on to you right now, bro. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. And I don't know about half of the women to be talking down on them brothers like that. That's in the NBA. That that's just the truth for me to you. Half of them be talking down on the brothers. You have some of them who support them. But half of them be talking down on them and worried about their own thing. They're not so they they want you to, to help them, but then they worried about their own stuff going on instead of supporting us. I think it should be equal down the line. Period. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I disagree. I disagree. Because I feel like I feel like if you oh, you got a crazy echo, right? Yeah, it's just echoing. Yeah, it's echoing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the the the, the WNBA, obviously, you know, they're, they're still on the rise up. You know what I'm saying? The, the WNBA league is still young in comparison to like the NBA. When you look at when you look at those leagues, I've said this a bunch of times. Year twenty, year twenty six of the the WNBA is ahead of the NBA in year twenty six. So I think I think the WNBA is, in the, is 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 at a good point, a good place. They got a very oh, good trajectory. Yeah. Well, now, but, 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 they, they, they have oh, the oh, NBA. Oh, oh, let me finish. Let so, yeah. That's uh, whatever whatever the reason was. I don't care what the reason is. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to care. I don't. I don't think they should be competing with each other either way. I don't see no problem I with agree. the NBA helping. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to do that. All I'm saying is. These WNBA players don't have the money, the uh, the 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 luxury, if you will. Most of them, because there are there are there are a lot of them that, that are doing well. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. But the thing is, if you ask, if you ask me, I don't got I don't got time to be going to NBA games. If like you said, I got I got to work a job to supplement my income. I got to go overseas and supplement supplement my income. On top of that. The NBA and I don't, I don't know how this is gonna sound, but the NBA don't need don't need them girls to be at their games. They don't really. I don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But with that being said, I think the ones that that love basketball, they'll be at the games. It's just it, like it is. It is. Not, Bob, not, you know, it's cross promotion and they can promote you. For example, if I don't see if I don't see Brittany Griner at NBA games this year, I'm going. To, I'm going in on her. 
Ain't no question about it. Because well, Brady be playing overseas. Oh, Brady be playing overseas. Let me finish my sentence. She was in her worst moment. NBA yeah, yeah. Yeah. She playing overseas. That's how she. That's how she. Yeah. played for Fenerbahce. Like, well, yeah, she played for Fenerbahce, and she, and obviously she was in, she was obviously she was in Russia, and when the whole situation happened, Brittany right, right, right. really plays two seasons. Season, I said, if I don't see her at games this season, because she ain't going back over, overseas. That's she what I was it. thinking about. I'm like, she ain't like, going I back said, overseas. This, yeah. season, this season, listen to what I said. I said this season, if I don't see her at a couple games supporting the same brothers who was out here. Writing letters to the president, all this other stuff to try to help get her free, bro. Come on, man. Like I said, and listen, like I said, she waited when she got back to even come out and thank everybody that was out here pushing for her and speaking up for her. She waited as soon as she got off the plane. She's supposed to be like, Hey, man, we said, Hey, hey, I appreciate everybody straight like that. But see, when I tell the truth, everybody want to get mad. That's what she should have did on, 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 on set. She should have did that, dog. She should have came out immediately and thanked everybody in the world that supported her because it was a lot of people that didn't did support her. I think she did do that. How many games I, I did she do that? Man, yeah, after, 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 after like two weeks. After I think, like two I think she did weeks. do that. She did, she did come out and, and, and yeah, say Yeah, after like that, two or three weeks, chill town. After, after, after being locked up for that time, oh, she, 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 is, she, is she wrong Wait, for going on and seeing her family? Can is I please ask, how, how many games do you need to see her at, Ticket? Because I promise you. I said a couple. I just, I, just, I just want to see her support. Just how many? Because if she goes to two said, and you say two on. ain't enough, then what are we doing? I'm just saying. I didn't say that. I said I want to see her just at a couple games supporting the same brothers that was out here head first, Chris Paul, all these other dudes that was out here writing letters, sending notes, doing speeches before the game. Everybody that was praying for the girl, I would like to see her at a couple of games supporting the brothers. That's all I want to say. Ticket, I'm not even all the way against you. I do agree that there have definitely been situations in the past where WNBA players genuinely have been clowns, in my opinion, when talking about NBA players and dealing with NBA players. There was a couple years ago when Eagle Dollar literally went out his way and shouted out a WNBA player he seen balling and addressed her about her number. Anybody up here that's played sports, whether it's basketball, football, anything with a number, you know if you don't know somebody's name, you, oh, no, nah, 23, that was a good-ass play. Oh, no, nah, 42, that's nice. Yo, who got, who got 55? Oh, like, that's a normal uh, thing. Right. Not only her, but a plethora of WNBA players start talking out the side of their neck. Oh, this is the problem. Y'all niggas are so disrespectful. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So they, Brittany Griner saying she can beat DeMarcus Cousins in the game. It was that Which serious. Nuts. Like, there, there have been that's not that serious, though. That, that wasn't that, that serious. serious. Let me finish. I'm saying there have been plenty of times where WNBA players have done some clown shit. I feel you, Ticket, and, 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 and that should be fixed. But to say that, oh, nah, I ain't going to hold you. It should be 50-50 on the support. Man, bro, them WNBA players got other shit to do. The max they Who making is no 200. Answer. Hold no on, let me finish. Ticket, let me finish. The max they making is 250 a year. Let them girls go work, go play ball, go do some other shit. <laughs> I, and again, I ask. How do you know, Ticket, yourself, that these women, you're saying, oh, it should be the top players. If the sixth man for every team is going and supporting these games, that's still a WNBA player at these games. If the 15th woman on the bench is still going to these games, that's still WNBA players going to these games. Yeah, and if there's fun. games that aren't nationally televised, if there's games like Charlotte versus goddamn Minnesota or Charlotte versus Indiana that isn't on TV, Ticket, how are you going to know that a WNBA saying, player went to that saying, game? Too. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because you hear a lot of the promoters talking about it. I mean, a lot of the announcers talking about it during the games, when you're watching the games, about the lack of WNBA stars that's coming to the games. And then here's another reason why it should happen. Because it's called promotion. The same way I'm going to tell everybody right now, Ron and them got the the, Pete, the Player's Choice hoodies, tees, and all that merch, and I'm coming out soon. So everybody, y'all make sure y'all go get that Player's Choice merch. It's called promotion. The more you're out there, the more you put your stars out there. For example, when you sign big deals, you have to do promotional events, promotion. That helps you get your name out there and build yourself along with the brand of what you're representing. So the WNBA, in order for people to know more who these women are, the star players in the WNBA, you need to be in these places. That helps raise your money, raise your status. For example, look at old girl today. Nobody, not many people talk about it, but she just signed a deal with Reebok. And shout out to Shaq because Shaq is a real one. Shaq and AI. Just took over Reebok. Shaq is, the, I think, the he's in over AI, and AI is his assistant, right? And they, yeah. what is the first thing they did? Shaq looked out for the LSU girl. He went and signed Angel Reese to the deal to Reebok, right? 
So what I'm saying is, is that they're looking out for these ladies too, the NBA cats. All I'm saying is put yourself in the best position to not only promote your league, but to, to cross promote so that everybody can grow together. You can't do that if it's the fellas always trying to carry the load because that's what it was when them girls was begging about that money. They was going through the to the NBA players. That's the truth. I can so, I can appreciate really. tickets. I can appreciate tickets logic of I think NBA players have been super supportive of the W WNBA in every facet in terms of promotion, trying to say they deserve more money, even when in some cases I don't think they deserve the money. And in terms of the Britney Griner situation, yeah, hundred percent. The amount of money you get paid is strictly correlated to the amount of revenue your company brings in and the amount of profit you generate. The WNBA is still subsidized to this day by the NBA. It is a business that's been losing money for 25 years. You know, you know what we call a business that's been losing money for 20 for 25 years? We don't call it a business. We call it a charity. And to compare the WNBA between the NBA 25 years, the climate in the in the in the NBA 25th season, which is what 19, 70, 60, whatever it was, is a completely different business climate than it is today. Today we have companies generating billions of dollars in a matter of five, six years. There is no company that has started in 2000 that has not made money for 25 years that still exists. The NBA, right, right now, the WNBA, again, it's not a business. I don't mean to sound rude. It is simply a charity and a movement for women's basketball. Do I hope one day they do become profitable? Yes. Do I hope one day they make millions of dollars? Yes. But that is strictly correlated to the amount of money they generate. They need to generate more money if they want private private jets. They need to generate more money if they want million-dollar salaries. They need to sell more jerseys. Because even WNBA fans, how many WNBA jerseys do you have, Ron? Respectfully, how many WNBA jerseys do you have? Mm. Respect, Joel Lloyd. Okay, so yeah, I'm saying a lot of WA fans respect the goal, Mamba. Yeah, I'm just saying, but so you got it. I, I respect this. So you uh, you probably got some, you're really about it. But a lot of these WNBA, WNBA fans, they come on and say this and that. Then you ask these questions How many games you really going to? How, how many jerseys you really buy? Like, mm -hmm. They're not really supporting them. Jim Jones Jim balling, Ron. Games. He balling, Ron. Oh, but yeah, that's just my take on that. Hey, bro. somebody get that boy some fish because he out here cooking. You trying today. <laughs> hey, hey, if you follow me, you know I'll be courtside at Seattle Storm games. Hey, hey we respect it. Hey, 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 Joe Lloyd, that's my nigga. He a nurse, that's my nigga. Right. As he Magador, that's my nigga. And, 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 and we finna get a, a crazy draft pick this year and we're gonna be contenders next year. Ron, but that's a story for another day. WNBA Ron, show coming soon merch, too. Ron. What's up, yeah, Ticket? Merch, Ron. What's up with the PC merch? Let the people man, know it's, it, it's, it's on the way, man. I just need y'all to continue to be patient. It's, it's coming. It's coming sooner than later. I promise you. I hey, promise you that. Who's, just who like that PC weekend content. Who is it's gonna coming. get the merch in the comment section? Because I want to see Mars in a PC hoodie. Who is gonna get the merch? Let us know in the comment section. When they drop the PC merch, who is gonna cop the PC merch? We want to know that right now. Let everybody know in the comment section. Ron can drop a poll and we can find out, engage how many people are actually going to get the merch when Ron and them drop that PC merch. Because y'all know it's going to be fire when they drop Jaylen it. Jalen is actually oh, right, though. Right. Jalen Jaylen is 100% right. I mean, I can't pay you what I don't have. And if you ain't generating no bread, I can't pay you. <laughs> it's that simple. That's just business. Isn't the average WNBA salary somewhere in the six figures? I is it just at like 110, 120 at this point? Uh, I, think, I, think I, think, I think that's a livable salary. Oh, yeah. It depends, yeah. On, it depends yeah. on where you live, Mars. Just so you know, Mars, $110,000 in New York or, 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 or in New Jersey is not a lot of money. No, it's not. I mean, it's just all relative to the lifestyle you want to live. Yeah. I think I think you survive on, on that type of money. But if you don't and you need to supplement it by playing overseas, that's your decision. But so if you make well, it's, it's, so if you, so in, 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 let's, let's just let's just say you play for the New York Liberty Mars and you're making one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Well, number one, the government's going to take forty percent of it. Then you got the mm -hmm. New York state tax. That's another twenty percent. So essentially, you basically making so you basically you making like thirty five forty cent on the dollar. Possibly. So about so about what forty k? Maybe close to close closer to, yeah, close, more, close, yeah, to 50, close, yeah. closer to fifty. Maybe sixty. Yeah, I think okay. you can survive on that. But maybe you can't. And, you, and if you want to supplement that playing overseas, that's your decision. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I'm Mars, they're for sure judge. gonna go overseas. Every player. It, yeah, I have no problem with like, oh yeah, that's your decision. But so, no, I'm like, I'm saying like, like they just don't make enough money to like live. <laughs> no, for sure. But I'm I'm saying like they're definitely the teams overseas. A lot of people don't know this. Russia, um, Turkey, Spain. A lot of these leagues, Australia, they pay more in these leagues for the girls than the WNBA does. Why? Because basketball over there, uh, the, 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 the women's leagues actually have a, a bigger fan base. They actually respect women's basketball more than America does. They'll show up and pack out the arena for a, a Fenerbahce versus Ephes game. 
they'll they'll come they'll pull up and show out so these girls a lot of times are making just as much if not more money over there so the the WNBA season really for them is like that's so a the second league. league. So, so yeah, the WNBA is the side job. It Basically, is yeah. Because yeah. I always say oh, I, so I, I it goes it. the same way. I, I if they want to use the WNBA as a side job to make more money, I'm not just, like make more money. That's cool. But it's like they they're just not living on a livable wage when there's actually people not getting a livable wage. I think is disingenuous. That's all I'm saying. Like there's actually people struggling financially, and we're saying these athletes making hundred k on a side job are the ones being hard done by and struggling. I think that's disingenuous to the actual people struggling in this economic climate. That's what, what I'm saying. At what point does the WBA make decision to say that maybe the American consumer just doesn't like the product? Right? So you you can sport like cricket. Jalen, this is what I'm... No, that's not the case, bro. That's not the case. That's not the case, bro. That's not the case. Not the case. That's not going to let you get this off. That's not the case. That's exactly what it is, Ticket. I got to promote... Jalen, hold on, hold on, Jalen. You were right until you said that. Now, I don't want you to go off because I don't want the whole crowd to turn on you again like they do me all the time. But they're not promoting it right, bro. And and that's all there is to it, bro, is your promotion. Damo, all these dudes are firing what they do. Mars is firing what he do. But if don't nobody, if you open up a restaurant, Chill Town, and you got the best guy there going fried chicken in town, and nobody nobody knows you got an open restaurant, you ain't gonna sell it because nobody know it. Yeah, don't don't so nobody know that we over here. Promotion, bro. You have to be able to promote things, and and that is the big thing. When you have good product, like WNBA has good players, Chill Town and all these dudes, they can do videos just breaking this stuff down. But they, they have to be willing to go the extra mile to promote themselves. That's why I said what I said about them going to the games and having their superstars of their league at the games so that the NBA, who is carrying them right now, can continue to promote and build them up so they can be self-sufficient going forward. But you have to do that. You have to be willing to go to these events. You have to be willing to do all of the extra stuff that it takes to build, build yourself up. It's almost like the rap game, Chill Town. It used to be a label. You assign to a label, and the label would do all the work. Now the labels don't want to do that no more. Now you go, you go independent. You got to do yeah, your you, own promotion, your, you own, your own label. Work. You know what I'm saying? This is what PC mm-hmm. doing right here, right now. I can I can understand. Promotion is 100 percent important. Promoting is 100 percent important. Promoting these <coughs> girls, maybe their backstory, promoting individuals. I feel like ESPN and the league, they've tried to do this. They've been promoting them. They've been putting them in more prime time slots, trying to get them out there. I just think for in terms of the product, when you're hoopers, like when you see Ron talk about it, Big Ox, and when you talk to other people who are fans, like they're really hoopers, they're real basketball fans. People gotta realize the NBA, only about 10 to maybe 20% are real basketball fans. Then you got the casual fans who are still gonna go to the game just because you know it, it's a fun thing. Like I, I I can go to one of my mom or my aunts, they're not huge basketball fans, but I throw on an NBA game, they're like, oh, it's exciting, you know, it, it, it could be a fun product. But when you throw on a WNBA game, a lot of people just don't like the product. They think so it's what, very what you want? You want the girls? So, so you want the girls going to the games thonged out? No, no, no. You, you want one of the girls? You want one of the girls? Yeah. So everybody we're can start we're, we're, we're not saying that. I'm just saying at, at some point we have to realize: Does the product work for the American consumer? Sometimes it doesn't. It just doesn't. Different different consumers, in different countries like different things. Like I said, cricket is huge in India. It's huge in Australia. It's huge in England. It doesn't work here. Ping pong is huge in China. It doesn't work here. Some products just don't work for the American consumer, and that's okay. So if the WNBA ever wants to expand to other teams in different countries, I think that might be more profitable for the league itself instead of just focusing on America because the American consumer has shown that they don't love the product that much. They just don't. Yo, Jalen, check, on, check on, me on, out, on, though. On, check on, me on, out. I read the stats already, bro. Like, I read the stats already. The WNBA, the w, the, the WNBA um, ticket sales were going – went up. The, 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 the actual people at the arenas went up. There were seven. They had the game this year where the the Aces had uh, 17,500 17, player uh, people at the game. Those are NBA numbers. But you know, you know what I also read? They, 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 were, they, were, they were going. They were going. They were going. Up. They were going up. Stop! 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 Stop hating, bro. Because like it's 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 a it's a casual it's a it's a casual it's a casual thing, dog. It's a casual. Thing. I'm having a business what, conversation. Bro? They're giving oh, away. Well, you, you can you can have a business conversation if you want. I'm not. I'm, I'm talking. What I'm talking about is. It's, it's just it's weird to say that the product is, is flawed when it, they're, they're playing basketball. What's the, the the difference between the NBA and the WNBA is dunking. It's like so you so so, so the people so the so the so the people are just casual fans that don't that don't they're not not real basketball fans and that's fine if, you, if you're not if you're not a, if you're not a fan of basketball if you're just a fan of highlights and dunks then that's fine I'm, I'm not mad I'm not I'm not mad at you for that but it's kind of like. What's what's the real difference when the game besides the ability to dunk a basketball? 
Well, that's where the majority of viewership comes from, casuals. So if you, wanna, if you want to have a successful basketball business, you have to appeal to the majority. That's just common sense. And if I they can't appeal to the casuals, they're not going to be as successful as they could be. And you, but you guys are 100% different? right. My, the coach my, not different in, w, in the WNBA? In the W, is the coach not different how they run their teams and how they – basically the systems? Is it not different? Because from what I've heard – it from seems more former, old school from what I've heard. Yeah, I'm about to say, from what I've heard and what I've heard from former WNBA players, women who are involved in WNBA, everything like that, they say one of the bigger issues, because I've had this conversation, because I was super casual at WNBA, so I talked to actual women that played, currently playing, or heavily involved, so I was the sound of ignorant just saying lower the rim so they can dunk. Hmm. The issue is you have these guys that is coming in with this 70s, 80s, and 90s philosophy of basketball and limiting these women. You have these young girls that's coming up in high school who they're as equally as entertaining as the guys with the house of highlight crossovers, deep threes, everything like that. But when they get to college, not only do they have to wait three years, their games is being limited by these systems that also are being played kind of old school, right? Or am I wrong? No, Damo, it's the same thing in college. Like in college, how many people, how many, how many people are you watching dribble down and shoot logo threes? That well, doesn't happen in college. Be so Unless they're going to a, a college that lets them do that, like it's, it's no. Young, can you can you name me the college Trae that Young lets you? Trey Young went to Oklahoma and he was allowed to be Trey Young, and, and that, that was an Alabama. exception. But I'm saying you have to go to a program that lets you do that. Okay. But you're not Kay, gonna be able to go Clark at Iowa, and by the by the way, Iowa just broke the record. They just they were just yeah, in a football stadium. So I'm saying it's it's it, it it's people that do this. Kelsey, Kelsey Plum, uh, Sabrina Ionescu when she was at Oregon, like this this happens. So like um, that's what I'm saying. Like like people that 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 say this, and I'm not necessarily getting you, Damo, but I'm saying you guys just don't watch the games. The the that's WNBA right. finals with Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray, uh, Jackie Young, Sabrina, Courtney Vandersloot, Brianna Brianna Stewart. They are out there hoping. They're like how Bob said. They're doing they're everything not, except they're, not, they're, 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 they're shooting I logo know. threes. They're shooting. Crazy step backs. People are out there getting crossed. The, the game is entertaining. It's no look passes. It's all of that. My thing with the WNBA is, in, in Jalen, I feel what you're saying. It's just a matter of time before people will cross over and become fans. All you have to do is watch the product and you'll like it. it no. But my thing is, it's just, so it's, it's, it's two things. It's the fact that when the WNBA came into existence or when it started like peaking in the thousands, the NBA was just so astronomically big that, that motherfuckers was just like, I'm watching this because it's bigger. My thing is, Jalen, so you're saying people won't watch the WNBA. You mean to tell me if you put the G League on TV, people wouldn't watch that? Wrong. Stop lying. People are dunking in the G League. It's it's, it's tremendous athletes in the G League. You know why they wouldn't watch it? Because the NBA is still in existence. If, if, you, if you took all NBA, all NBA games off TV and you just put the G League up there, people will watch the G League. Wrong. You ain't lying. The WNBA is competing with the NBA. You're, yeah, you're going to watch the best basketball pro 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 You're a liar and you're beating around the bush. Tell the truth. The real reason most people are turned off to the WNBA is because most of the girls run around here dressing like boys. No, if that's not the reason why. Hold on, hold on, no, that's not the reason why. Hold on, Most of the girls, you're a liar for that. I'm not not watching the NBA because chicks got on big jeans. That's nothing to do with it. That's bullshit. That's straight bullshit. So what? Like that has nothing to do with like uh, Them chicks had big pants on. That had everybody. nothing to do with me watching Sylvia yes. Fowles. Yeah, I do. No, it did not. It had nothing to do with me watching Tina Thompson. So let me so let me so let me ask you this. So let, so let me ask you this. So if you're if you if you're watching So what you're saying, Tiki, what you're saying, Tiki, is they're not watching these girls play because they're not physically or sexually attracted to them is or so you're saying they're watching the NBA because they're attracted to them? No, I'm saying that the ratings will go up if you have like, more is it is it is it is it is it, is it, is it, is it that, is it that oh, they love to watch these big muscular sweaty guys running up and down the court? No, and it's different. Is that, is that, is that, is that what's different. doing it, Jalen? No, no, I don't for Jalen and LeBron, he knows. I don't know. You don't think the ratings go up? Look, 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 ratings got up. So now, so now you're saying these dudes got crushes on it on this? No, I'm saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got crushes on your favorite NBA players? LeBron, Jalen Green, Jalen Duran. 
If we're not watching the women because if we're not watching the women because they're not attractive, that means no, we're watching the men because they are attractive. What are you saying, Ticket? Ticket. What, what, what are you saying, Ticket? I'm saying, what, 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 what are you I'm saying, saying if you had more girls in the WNBA that look like Angel Reese, Tyler Diggins, the girl that the Kevin Porter Jr. got into tool with, if you had more girls looking like that. More girls looking that's I'm talking about walking around here looking beautiful stuff like that instead of running around More here. Feminine. Okay, have you seen hey. Angel Wilson? Have you hey, seen we, 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 we're, gonna, not, we're gonna change the topic. Well, you argue about the attractiveness of the yeah, yeah, no, we, we 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 definitely gonna change the topic. We we, we, we gotta we gotta move on, fellas. We gotta move on. The reason why Ted is the reason why Ted is is the most successful oh, female, we, the most successful big. female sports league in America. One, the product it, it, you could say is the closest to the men, but two. Man, y'all tri- y'all tripping. Y'all just don't know WNBA players. Y'all, y'all just don't know WNBA players. Hey, don't trip. Don't trip. Hey, we got a group chat. I'm gonna put y'all on today. We got a group chat. I'm gonna put y'all on. Don't trip. I'm gonna put y'all on. Okay, he's not wrong what he said. He's not wrong what he said. There have been no. He's absolutely wrong what he's saying. That's fucking idiotic. What they're wearing off the court. What they're wearing off the court has shit to do with what I'm watching on the basketball court. Court. And now if you're about to tell yeah, me you have to sexualize these women on a basketball court, you got a bunch of horny, horny well, fucks to watch the game, man, that's no, taking away no. from basketball. You, you, you should, no, but, but, but gentlemen, gentlemen, if you, if that's how, if that's how, but that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. And, 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 and a lot of these, and these, and these, and a lot of these WNBA players feel the same. And I feel the same too. If that's why you're watching the game, bro, don't watch it. Don't watch it, bro. I mean, that's, if that's right, it, if that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, you know what, then just, I get it. You know, don't, don't, don't think I'm going to Anna Kornikova was the that's most famous wild. female actor yeah, in the world. Yeah, we understand that. Wow. This is crazy. Wow. 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 She was wild. 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 And Serena used to beat her ass. And I need niggas to understand. I need niggas to understand. Jalen's point is that the only reason why we watch her is because she was easy What these motherfuckers are going to do? Go to porn her again. Hold up. Say that again, Demo. There's definitely better ways to quench your horniness than watch WMB. Yeah, it's not that. It's just not that. This goes for. This goes for. Dama, what you were saying, Dama? I'm sorry to hear you. This goes for the W. This goes for the W and for the NBA as well. It does not matter what they're fucking wearing off the court if we're talking about what they're doing on the basketball court. What's going on between the lines? The same way I'm saying, bro. If you're about to sit here and say, "Oh, they need to dress better off the court," so I'm watching them on the court. You're a horny, sick fuck. And just like that, if you're gonna sit here and say. Oh, this kid coloring his hair. Oh, this guy, Miles Turner, wearing a fucking blouse and Prince pants. Oh my God! What is, what is that about? To, what is that about to do for bro? What does that have to do with the court? They're wearing basketball gear on the court. Stop worrying about what these niggas doing on and off the court. So many grown men are crying about these young guys coming up here with painted nails. Nigga, let them play basketball. What the hell that got to do with basketball? We're being so good. We're being so good. We're being 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 if, you, if y'all not in the group chat, join the group chat. Yo, what's up with y'all, man? Hey, appreciate everybody watching the video right now. If you haven't got a chance to like it, smack that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Uh, everybody up here got individual channels where they all be doing their thing too. I want you guys to go follow these guys individually because they all putting out fire content in and of their, their selves and by, by their selves. So go check them out. But we got super chats. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that. Omarion. Brown said Bilal will end up better than Kawhi. Keep sleeping on him. Z's Dub Mars, by the way. I, I gotta start watching this Bilal. Okay, yeah, I, I thought he, I thought he was a few years away from being like a contributor, but he, from what I've heard, he's been doing good in preseason. I still want to see it in the NBA, and I haven't watched any Wizards preseason games. But from what I've heard, he looks like Leonard good. Okay, right I will definitely be paying attention. I to mean, he, no one would even, no one even would have thought that Kawhi Leonard would have been Kawhi Leonard good when he came in. Because I did not think that. No, I didn't. So anything's possible, really. I've seen some highlights. He looked good. I actually, and for y'all that don't know, we're gonna get into our top. Uh, oh no, you guys did the top rookie of the year list yesterday. Uh, but I had him on my as number number. I think I had him five on my list just based on what I've seen, based on him being in Washington. He's gonna start. He's gonna play. I, I think he can, you know, I think he can have a pretty good season. But we'll have to see. For those who don't know, today we're going to do the hey, six man of the year ranking. So we're going to get into that. And we're going to do the clutch player of the year ranking. What's good, Ticket? No, I apologize that y'all don't understand what I'm saying. But I'm just going to put it like this and then so it don't offend nobody. Ron, why do they put these women on ESPN in skimpy clothes? Why, why is there a beautiful sex woman? Sex why, sex hold on. Why do they have Janae? 
on ESPN wearing tight dresses and skimpy clothes. Sex sales. Looking, looking like right. a whole snack. Sex Why sales. do they have Molly Carroll mm -hmm. in skimpy clothes looking mm -hmm. like a snack every day? Sex what sales. about all the other women that go on TV that they put on TV that they got mm -hmm. looking beautiful? Joy, they Joy Taylor on Fox. And it's supposed to be beautiful. They hire beautiful oh, women because they realize men watch They do that because it brings more eyes to the mm -hmm. situation. All I'm saying is, Ron, is that if you look a certain way, Ron, and you have presented a certain way, you will gather more eyes just off of that because we live in a society that looks at that. So when you look at your TV and you say, dang, Shanae looking good. Who is she? What is everybody going to do? They're going to go look at what she's doing. What team she playing for? Let me go see. So Shanae, she has a bigger profile because she's not only on TV, but she looking good on TV. So they're like, hold on, I got to go see her. That's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, and, I, and I'm telling y'all the truth. This is why ESPN mm -hmm. and all these people have these women on the mm -hmm. shows looking good like that. You don't see them looking busted up or dressing like anything else. They on there looking like, chill. When you look at Janae on TV, what's she looking like, chill? Like she was at the club. She's on and, snack. On yeah. snack. She, she looking good, ain't she? She looking good. Right. Right. She's definitely yeah. fresh. That's, yeah, that's definitely all I'm fresh. saying. Hold on. That's all I'm no, saying. No, no, I feel you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm just asking, do you feel like, so there's no women's sport to where, like, do you feel there's no women's sport where they just allow the women to be basic while they're playing the sport or basic off the field or off the court or off wherever? Do you feel they have to sell sex in order to get the casual fan? No, I didn't say no. I'm not, I just, no, no, I'm not saying I that. I'm not, hold on, I don't beauty. want you to misunderstand what I'm saying. I do think it helps. Beauty, then. Do you I do think it helps. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm telling you you're wrong, Jalen. I'm telling you you're wrong. Danica Patrick in NASCAR racing, one of the biggest. So let me ask you, Jalen, 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 let me ask you, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Kelsey Plum, she got a because she's pretty and ball. Jalen, let me ask you. Why is that not the case for women's MMA? Uh, women, uh, just probably the nature. Wait, hold on, hold on. So, the, one, the nature sport. of the sport and being a violent physical sport yeah, is very different. Sport. And two, some people thought, what was what was that MMA? Uh, what, the the big one that she she had a big one and she got really famous. What's her face? The blonde Ronda Rousey. Rousey. Yeah, Ronda Rousey. Some people thought she was pretty. Some okay, people that's thought, fine. You think somebody, thought she was pretty. That, that's fine. You think somebody looks pretty. It didn't hurt. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if the sport is good. And mm -hmm. if the if you allow if you market the sport, right, I will say WNBA isn't marketed right. If you yeah. market the sport right, if you give the women the same respect you give the men, mm -hmm. that look shit don't matter. Now, that of course, it. people will find people attractive, but with mm -hmm. women's MMA, they headline cards. They said they. How are the numbers? Make, how are the numbers? I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. The numbers are not bad at all. The numbers are really fucking good. The numbers are good. When they have women, fellas, we gotta move on to talk hoop, though. We we we, 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 we gotta talk hoop, y'all. They say you dress for success and whatever you do in life. So whatever you do in life, when Ch Chill goes to an interview or Ron goes to an interview, Ron ain't going to an interview looking like that. Well, what do you got on right there? He's not. Ron gonna put on a suit, a tie. And you know me, I'm coming self made down, baby. You know, hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be clean. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to no job interviews, but if I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cleaner than the owner of the establishment. Right, Ron. More, more people, Ron. Based off what you're wearing right now, would more people look at you a certain way if you had that on? If you walk around clean with a suit on, booted up, cologne, smelling hey, good, you. you're gonna draw. You're gonna draw more people. Are gonna be looking at you like, oh man, this dude's sharp. Versus what you got on right now. That's all I'm saying. It's not about a discriminatory thing or anything like that. That's why I told y'all on ESPN, they have the women on there dressing up, looking nice, beautiful, because they want the people to see, oh, okay, man, she look good. Okay, what does she do? Boom. And then that's how that's how you use that to further promote. That's all I'm saying. And, and you know how many how much women will watch the NFL because they think Joe Burrow's good looking. Whether they thought Travis Kelsey was good looking. That's a real yeah. thing. That is true, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Hey, Ron. Some girls watch PC because they think Bob, or you look, Bob look good. Yeah, <laughs> me. I don't know about Bob, but me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We got <laughs> and she's literally and she literally does not fit any beauty criteria at all. Amanda Nunez got pushed. She retired. Valentina yeah. Shechenko literally just lost her belt. So that's why the current champ isn't getting pushed more than her. So if y'all gonna sit here and chat, please chat better than what y'all doing now. Again, no one is saying there's no attractive women in women's martial art. What I'm saying is that's not what they're selling. You could bring up Paige Van Zant. There's a reason her ass is doing OnlyFans now and not fighting. Because she realized <laughs> that selling beauty was not going to do nothing for you in the ring, and they can't do nothing with that. That's my point. You don't have to sell beauty if your product is good. And what Ox and Ron are saying is the W product is good. If I'm wrong about my misconception about the coaching and everything like that and the systems, cool. But if the, if the product is actually good, market the product better, put the product on display better. That was last, my point. Hey, last question I got to you, Damo. This is it. Damo, if you see a chicken spot and you know it's the best chicken spot in the town, 
but the floor is dirty, got cockroaches and everything else. Are you gonna go in there? Uh, and eat? Are you the best chicken in town. It's about presentation, right? That's what I hey, see. Man, I oh, 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 oh Two years. How come nobody know about this spot? What's going on? So, Damo, if the chicken's good, it don't matter if it, if it's roach infested. You still long, hey, as long as there ain't no roach on my chicken. Damo, you know how I'm going in the chicken spot with cockroaches walking around. Damo, you doing? Hey, hey, hey! As long as I can watch my buddy make my chicken, <laughs> and I know my chicken good. Hey, you got to take out the fryer. I'm taking out the fryer. Damo is wild as hell in the chicken spot. He wild as hell in the chicken spot. That chicken, yeah. Best chicken. Uh, Let me fuck you. Know <laughs> best chicken in town. The best chicken. Can't say no to that. Good chicken. 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 chicken. Good 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 chicken. chicken. Good 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 chicken. Oh, <laughs> yo, he said, I'm a door dash, so I don't even got to think about it or see it. That is heat. Who are we? You're going to taste it. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Let's, let's keep it lit. Let's keep it lit. Um, Drink More Water said, if Wimby gets 25 plus, are the Spurs in the play -in? No, I still think they they're the worst team in the league. Probably not. I do. I mean, it'd be, be close. It'd be close. Wimby scoring an extra four points from what most people expect doesn't make them a play team. That's true. Most people have him around 21. If he scores 25, that four points isn't making him a playing team automatically. The team's just not very good. I mean, but if he's if he scores 25 points, the second best player in Jalen's uh something, <laughs> that means Devin Vassell gotta be yeah, 28. He's gonna, he gonna be it's the same man who was hating on Devin Vassell when we did the Spurs that episode. Is, I don't that know is, what made him that, that is crazy. That is crazy, Jalen. I reassessed, I reassessed Devin Vassell. Oh, Devin Vassell short chunk, so now he's gonna be the all right. Well, we reassessed Devin Vassell. Hey, but you 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 do gotta understand though, with the gravity that I'm expecting Wimby to pull, he's gonna get a lot more open looks. So it's like he's still gonna be chucking, but it's gonna be a little more space. We'll I will admit, we'll I will admit though, Ron Pop got to turn him loose, yo. He has to. Devin or Wimby? Wimby. He got to turn him loose. He has to. He been letting him play chill. He, yeah, he got, he got to turn him loose. I was, I was surprised about everything he was letting him do. I think Pop yeah. is. He has to ticket. He has to. I think he's moved up with the times, bro, and say, you know what, man, it is like I can't do this to this kid. No, he, he got to turn him loose, yo. He has to Ch chill and ticket though. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this has probably happened to you guys before. I don't, I don't know. Y'all, y'all was probably always dope, at, you know, at who your whole life. Me, it's been a time where I wasn't as good as basketball as some of my other people. Or, like, I got good over the summer, but they didn't know how good I was. So when they put me in the game, it was like, nah, be in the corner or only do this or play defense. And I'm like, nah, I'm like that. So when I get the ball, I'll make a move, i get a layup. They're like, okay, good, good, good job, good job, get back on defense. A couple of plays later, I do the same thing. Now the coach is thinking, all right, he actually can go. That's the same with Wimby. I'm assuming Pop ain't, he might, he might not be out there like, yo, shoot these step back threes or – Come off this screen, go through the legs, and hit that step back like he did. But when Pop sees Wimby do that, it's like, okay, he can do that. So yeah. now I'm not going to stop him from doing that. Now, actually, let me see if you can do it again. Oh, okay. Now like we're going to start up. drawing this up because you can. I just think that, I Bro, think that's, that's just like Steph Curry and Mars know this the best. When Curry was doing what he was doing, and especially when Steve Kerr came along, he like, man, do whatever you're going to do, bro. Just do you. I can't even put your game in no system. So normally when you see players like that, that you you would never like chill town. No, in our area, you never see guys coming out past half court, pulling up five or six steps behind the three-point line and shooting the shots that Curry shoot. But when the coach seeing seen that he's making these things like this and this is like how he's effective, hey man, do you. So that's I think just good coaching. That's that's that, that's just good coaching more than anything. When you when you got a gem, you don't hold him back. You turn you you, you turn him loose. You have to. Because my, that's just my, bad. that's bad on your part if you're not doing that. You have to. My only fear is that we're going to have like some guys like Dylan Brooks, um, 6'5, 6'6, 6'7 guys. Goofies. 
Goofy's wrong. Not Goofy's. Not Goofy's. Guys that guys that play a physical brand of basketball yeah. that are that are gonna check Wimby on this side of half court when he's trying to dribble the ball up the court. Right. And then he's gonna step on somebody's foot, roll an ankle, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, you're playing dirty! You're trying to hurt him!" You know that type of punk shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm 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 in fear of because if not, then they're just gonna be like, "No, you can't." You know, you know how it goes, man. You know, right. just like. Yeah, just just like guys like Pat Beverly when he plays aggressive and people be mad at him like, oh, that's the only reason mm-hmm. you're here because it is like, you know what I'm saying? You just right. you know guys like Devin Booker who cry when you double team him in open gym, you know shit like that. Mm. So, that's, which that's by the way, w- w- which by the way helped his game. By the way, right. that actually that actually helped his game, and <laughs> that's when you that's when you work on your game. Like, yo, we ain't double teaming, we ain't double teaming in, in the summertime, my man. Just so you just so you do is know, Damo. The year, the, the the season before that, Devin Booker was third in the league in turnovers. He was number one in the league in turnovers in double teams. Well, how do I get better? I get better in the summertime working on what I'm deficient at. And yeah. the reason why they was double teaming you, not because you can work on that. It was probably because the dude who was covering you, he was probably frying his ass. So we could probably get somebody else on him to help. Yo, him shut down, shut down. I don't give a damn where we at. Devin Booker on that side of the court, we double every time he touched right. the ball. We all frying so <laughs> okay, we can we, we could be at the park, we could be at the 25 hour fitness. He, he, he double team. <laughs> Fuck that. Yo, speaking of D-Book, I can't wait to push my D-Book agenda, but that's not for this episode. Next week, we'll talk about uh, MVPs. We'll talk about championship contenders. We'll get into all of that. Tomorrow, we will be ranking our top 40 players in the NBA. Everybody up here, we will oh, rank oh, them. So oh, 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 y'all, oh, y'all be oh, sure oh, to tap in. What's good, chill? Hold on, Ron. Grande, just so you know, he has Scott Skiles on his crew. When he, It wasn't Shaq. 23 years old as a rookie, just out there by himself. He has Scott Skiles, one of the best distributors in the game, on his crew as a rook. So... Wimby does not have that. Wimby does not have that. Let's chill out. He he has the all-time assists in the game record. If you play 2K and you broke that record, you know, you know Scott (laughs) Skiles. You you, 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 you shot now Scott Skiles. You in the chat. They hurting. You hurting their head. You know. I'm sorry. I apologize. We got we got some youngsters in there. Show Hey, y'all, y'all go do your homework though. Go go check out Scott Skiles. Shout out Scott Skiles too. Uh, we got a super chat from I'm Chilling. He said, "I'm a I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you guys flowers. I lost my auntie, unk, my pops, and close friends. Y'all still give me a good laugh or smile in my darkest day. Keep it up. That's what we here for, my man. That's why we that. here. That's love. That's love. That's, why, that's that. why we here, brother. Sorry for your loss. Dude. Sorry for your loss, man. Yeah. Really. Shout out, I'm chilling. Keep your head up, bro. Uh, Ladarius Munford said, Shout out to the panel, Ron. We need more basketball content from you and the panel. That vid was hilarious. Mm-hmm. I've never smoked a layup like Ron. Ron's that trash to five, but Ron's hey, Ron, that trash dog. Ron, Ron stay talking in the game. He stay got do with the hand one on you, Ron. Yeah, yeah. He should have went upside his head when he started talking. <laughs> 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 Hey, take it. Uh, he's, not talking real, he's not talking real greasy to Ron, like, yeah, yeah, one. I'm getting yeah, one. Yeah. Why don't I deserve the ball? Why don't I deserve the ball? I'm like, yeah, all right. Roger's right. showing love. That's a good player. I did like Ray Frost and did old boy. I uh, love that. Too. Hey, take it. You think that you, you, you laughing, yo? I love that. Ray uh, was like, listen, I will take it from Paul Pierce. I'll even take it from Kevin Garnett. You gonna shut up talking to me? Yeah, Eddie House. Eddie House. Eddie House. You gonna shut your ass up talking <laughs> to me? Eddie House. Eddie House. You, 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 you replay in slow mo how the headband lifted up off his head. It looked like you, it looked like it looked like you it looked like you as your uncle snap slap, slapping your nephew in the back of the head, don't it? Oh, like like you. Yo, like, like, my, my sister. My sister talks about that to this day. She trips up there. That's what's hilarious. Um, um, yo, K- K- KPJ K- just got moved to OKC. Who are waving him? Huh? He's a free agent. He's a free agent then. We he got waved. Mm-hmm. They yeah, actually didn't yeah. wave, so the OKC Thunder had to pay like whatever his guaranteed money was, so the Rockets yeah. didn't have to. Oh, and, the, and, the, and the Rockets ended up getting Victor Oladipo and Jeremiah Robinson off. He won't be in the NBA wow. anymore. That's his last. Mm-hmm. He played his last game in the league. Mm-hmm. I swear he got him. Yeah, they got Jeremiah Robinson Earl? Mm-hmm. No, K- K- KPJ. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, no, I heard Robinson, that. They KPJ yeah, he, for Oladipo yeah. and Jeremiah. Uh, yeah. Hey, the, the, the Rockets came up. And then the Rockets gave up two second round picks. 
which is wild as hell too, Damo. Because if you look at KP, I mean, wasn't he like eighteen and seven last year? Some some no, no nonsense. Like about that. eighteen and seven. But nobody cares about that because you were goofy. You out here smacking up chicks. Stupid. Hold on, how much was KPJ last year? He was like eighteen was, and I, seven. He actually like twenty. He actually averaged like twenty. He actually averaged like twenty. Well, y'all sure what you 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 seen they uh dropped one of the charges and said that he wasn't the reason her neck broke or something like that. Nah, but yeah, he's still facing seven. He's still facing seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still more charges he's facing, but I seen a lot of people trying to take that triumphant. See, you gotta you gotta wait for the information. I'm like, all right, bro. There's still other charges. He, he still beat the hell out that girl. And see, the, the, in the Houston Rockets management, shout out to Mars, was actually smart because I don't know if you guys noticed the four year, sixty million dollar deal he signed. It was only half guaranteed. Why? Because they know he a goofy. And they know that at any point he can get himself in some nonsense. So they didn't guarantee the entire deal. So they wasn't on the hook for the entire deal. You can look, you can look, you can look at that brother's eyes. Y'all going to owe them you, down the road, Mars. Y'all going to owe OKC down the road for that. <laughs> Yo, you, you, can look, you can look in that brother's eyes and see. You can see how much is for this is. No, 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 I'm saying. Mars, OKC just got four draft picks too. them down the road, Mars. We gave them two second round picks. So okay, yeah, so OKC is still getting draft picks. Yeah, they got they got two second round picks, and then they clear um, KPJ's salary. But they're just collecting. They're just collecting these picks. So uh, Mars, do you need you Houston to be whacked too, so you can get your first round pick back? Or our pick is top four protected. So if we're not in the top four of the draft, OKC get our pick. So if it's like the eleventh pick, OKC will no, get. No. But if we're terrible, yeah, ideally, I don't want us to be. Okay, I don't want us to be like the eleventh seed, and then we end up giving OKC our pick. I either want us to be competing for the play-in, like a legitimate playoff contending team. Oh God! I don't yeah. want us to be in the middle because then OKC got our pick. But considering yeah. we have Brooklyn's pick, we get a pick in this draft regardless of whether or not it's Mars. Hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. It, it's it's cooked for that uh, Brooklyn pick, bro. Yeah, it's Ben not, Simmons, we pick. But yeah, I'm about to say yeah. Ben Simmons. Is yeah, definitely one. They're still going to win zero games. They're still, still going to win zero games. I don't want to tell you because they've improved every year. Devin the one. Ben. Yes, and I'm His standing back on is that. Fine, boy. That boy Ben back is fine. It's crazy. Now it's not that. I'm gonna tell you what it is down with Ben. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Ben can't play when it's high expectations. When the expectations are at the best, at the highest, he cannot perform. Or when Ben's on a team. Where another dude is is legitimately a bigger star than him, he can't perform at that level. If you've noticed, when you put him around other superstars or other highly talented players that are more talented than him, Ben can't succeed. Ben succeeds when every, the whole world is, sur is surrounding him. Notice what Jacques Vaughn said yesterday: Ben is our leader of the team. I want him to be our leader. I want him to be our guy. He has to do that to stroke his ego, and that's the only way Ben has confidence in himself. Ben don't feel confident in a room full of other superstars. Like, for example, if you to walk in the room right now, if Ron or myself or or, or, or Mars or somebody or, 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 or Chill walked into a room full of superstars right now, all-time greats in the NBA, you would – you, you he, Ben is the type of dude he folds under that situation. You would have to be a dude who could succeed, who, who who would be able to hold your own and excel in those situations. And Ben is not that type of dude. He's he's not mentally strong enough. So he's going to look good this year because he ain't really worried about Mikael Bridges. Mikael Bridges ain't no name like that. So he ain't really worried about Mikael. He knows that he's going to be the man. He knows he's the biggest name. But the instance that a guy like Katie or one of them guys walk back through that door, he would do the same thing again. You would see the, the, fall, the fall from him again because he can't be the other dude. He can't be a – he has to be – the thing, everything has to surround him for him to be great. He was hooping in Philly. I'm not saying I, 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 I respectfully yeah, disagree. Bro, no no he still wanted him to be out, though, because he still wanted to be the man. Remember, that was their problem the whole time, Mars. He wanted to be the man, and he was upset that MB was over him. So that whole time, they still was struggling and still was beefing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, 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 I was looking at I was looking at was there. I don't think he looked that bad. I thought he looked no, he was good. He was good yeah. with Jimmy Butler. Let me ask you this, Big Damo. With what you've seen from Ben in his preseason, could we be looking at a triple single all league defender? A triple single all league defender. Well, one, I don't think I think by the time the season starts and he's playing like he's playing to fit like actual 30, 35 minutes and healthy, he's averaging double digits. Points. He's averaging okay. double digit points. He's gonna average double digit points off his defense and just natural like just him free his free flow game is gonna get him 10 points. Just being in the right spot, getting a rebound, running a break off of a steal. He's going to get 10 points from that. I do see him being an all-defensive player if he's healthy. He, he's back on the all-defensive team. I don't know about the all-team uh, all NBA guy. All but NBA. He's, definitely, mm -hmm. he's definitely going to be on the defensive team. 
I'm giving them a good with this team. I ain't gonna lie, 12 to 14 points. Well, how he's playing, how he's moving, 12 to 14, attacking the rim. I'm saying if he's out here throwing relay behind the back passes and he's really trying to get in this passing back for real and this can be sustained, I'm seeing a good seven, eight assists. So 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 let's say so 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 let's say just so you know, Damo. So if he's 15, 8, and 7, with Brooklyn being the talent that they have, 15, 8, and 7. Because in, in, in Philadelphia, he was 16, 8, and 8. And he was an all-NBA performer. So if in Brooklyn, if he's 15, 8, and 7, running with Mikael Bridges in the backcourt, I think he could be an all-league defender. I don't, is, well, that good, is that oh, good enough for him to be an all-NBA performer? No. I don't think that, I don't think it's going to be good enough for me to be an all-NBA Is Brooklyn going to be that good? That's the issue. I it's a, I'm not going to say it's a possibility. It, well, anything's possible. I ain't gonna lie. Anything's right. possible. You never know who's gonna be the shock team. Anything is possible. We no one expected the Thunder to be as good as they were last year. We've had cases where teams just blew up and just were good. So anything is possible. I don't think that's the case. But what I will say is, in a part of his game that people aren't talking about, and I don't think it was there before. I mean, that turnaround fade was looking. looking it looked so kind of nice, yo. It did look kind of nice. Check out Ben. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kind of nice. Is Some he, lucky man, shot, man. Is, 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 is he gonna stick to it? That's, that's the, the issue, ticket. That's, that's, that's the issue right there, ticket. That's the issue right there. He's an underachiever, Damo. Even with everything y'all just said, what you just said, he should have never made All NBA. He should have never did none of that stuff. He's an underachiever because oh no, when he made it, he deserved it. When he made it, when you look at a guy like Ben Simmons, bro, Ben Simmons, the ability he's supposed to have, he's supposed to be a twenty and ten guy, easy. 20 points, ten assists. Easy. That's that's supposed to be his baseline. Is Irvin Magic Johnson prime numbers? It's supposed to be his baseline. But he's an underachiever to have 16 points, eight rebounds, seven assists. That's underachieving for him, bro. Because he never worked on other aspects of his game. He never filled his full potential. Ben Simmons has not even filled half of his cup up. He have not filled half of his potential. Because if he worked on his game, if he worked on his shooting, if he worked on his weaknesses, Ben Simmons could be a 25 point player in the NBA. Ben Simmons could be a dude. Ben Simmons could be a dude that gets you nine and a half rebounds a game. He could be a dude that get that gave, that gave you eight or nine assists. But ticket, you've seen him in a, you've seen video of him in the offseason. He does work on that. The problem is that he doesn't, he's not confident enough to translate that to his game. I don't understand why, but he's just not confident enough. Because I've seen him in, 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 in the summertime shooting the long ball. I've seen him shooting the mid-range. I've seen him at the strike. So all of this stuff, he's been working on it. The fact that it doesn't translate to the game. The pro game, that's upstairs. That has nothing to do with his actual game because he's clearly working on the stuff. He's just not translating it. I think I, I'm I think it's unfair to say that he's not confident enough in his game to to advance and do those things. I think he's simply just one of those guys who just don't want to do it. He grew up playing basketball one way, and the motherfucker's <sighs> just not gonna change how he's playing. And some guys, that is the case. Some guys they will refuse to really change with how they grew up playing ball. We got to remember Ben Simmons came in the game. He was drafted, what, 2015, 2016? 2016, 2016. Yeah. So growing up, Ben Simmons played a tradition, and he was seen as a point guard. He played a traditional way of playing a point guard, trying to move the ball, finish the way he finishes, wasn't really relying on his shooting. And I I've said this before about Ben Simmons. Some guys are just who they are. Everyone doesn't just advance their game. And That's Tick, and I, I feel you, it, it – I feel you. On one hand, it's definitely fair to say he did fulfill his potential. He definitely should have had X, Y, and Z and done more. 100% agree with you. But on the other hand, I truly and genuinely believe motherfuckers can just be wrong about people. You can see a guy play and the expectations you place on him or what you think his potential is, you're just wrong. The scouts, the fans, every you're just wrong. And we just had this conversation, Damo. You and I just had this conversation. We just had this conversation. Where I just got, I got to accept who he is now. He ain't magic. He ain't Isaiah Thomas. He not that guy. I got to accept that that's who he is. You're just accepting. Ticket, he's 27 years old. Can you do? I'm not gonna. He's 27 years old. Ticket. Bro, why would you? Why would you not accept reality? I got to accept who he is. I I, 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 I got, I got, I got to keep getting, I, I got to keep you, saying you, to myself. You, it's, it's the reality of the situation. If I don't accept, I'm just living in denial. No, I'm saying, but hold on, Mars. If you're Mars, if you're Ben Simmons' coach, you're accepting him underperforming. I'm, 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 under, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm just, no, 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 I'm, I'm, no, no, Mars, Mars, just walk with me here. Okay, I'm, I'm asking you a question. You. If you're coaching Ben Simmons, are you accepting what you've seen from him, knowing what his capability could be? No, mm -hmm. you're not. 
But you're uh, but as a fan, you're saying, oh, we'll just accept it. That's BS. Fans if in the NBA, win, well, that's the problem with the I'm NBA saying, game. I'm saying okay. I'm accepting it. Not Jacques Vaughn needs to accept what I don't care what he accepts. That's not my business. Me, as the person on the panel we're talking basketball, I'm not gonna hold him to Magic Johnson expectations when clearly that's not what he is. Like that would just be dumb of me no, to no, still hold him to an expectation. Mars, that's not Mars. what he is. I'm asking you, Mars. I'm saying yes. I ain't saying holding the Magic Johnson expectation. I'm saying and why not? I'm talking about wow, ticket. He was the number one overall pick in the draft. For the he was same a big time reason, prospect coming out of college. Reason, big time. At, for the same reason why you got mad at me for what I said, bro. Listen, and I'm gonna say this again. Th that dude, uh, when we talked about Wimby, and you said, Oh, well, ticket. If uh if you said Wimby's gonna be a bust if he doesn't live up to those expectations, I'm saying because these are the expectations. This is this is the type of stuff Deion Sanders be talking about when he says you set the expectations high. This is what he was telling the 76ers. Like, yo, you, you got to meet, you got to want to meet a high expectation. You're supposed to want to set, set high expectations for yourself and meet them. We are now allowing these dudes to lower the bar of expectations. So now when we when you guys come in here and say, oh, well, when everybody pr promotes Wimby as the greatest prospect ever, but when you guys come in here and say, oh, if he does 18 or 19, he ain't no, he ain't no. We, are, we're raising the bar of expectations now because they have said you're something that we've never seen. A guy like Ben Simmons, who got paid all that money? He's 27 years old, so he's still young, Chill Town. He's still gonna have six more years in his prime, probably. So all the way up to 32, 33 years old. So he still has a long time to improve his game and get better. So now we're gonna quit on him now and just say we're gonna accept what he's throwing out here Not now. Quitting, Not quitting. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Understanding these who he is. NBA scout, these NBA scouts are fucking mattress salesmen, take it. They will hype up any prospect any year. Every he's not year. lying. Every He's not lying. You draft, the top 15 guys, they're telling you, no matter who this kid is, and you can go back and look in the draft at how some of these guys turned out. They're telling you when these guys get drafted, oh, this guy's comparable to this Hall of Famer. He's comparable to this All-Star. Or if it pans out, he's this guy, that guy, the third guy. These guys are mattress salesmen. They're going to hype up anybody. I'm not saying you're wrong for placing high expectations on Vic. That's fine. So if you watch Wimbiamba and you say, you know what, my expectations for Vic is this. And you stick to that, take it, that's absolutely fine. But to the people that are saying, oh, well, Doug Flutie said that Vic is the most impressive prospect, so I'm going to believe it because Doug Flutie said it. That is detrimental to so many basketball players' careers because a team can diminish what your potential is. In order for you to get that potential or unlock that potential, you have to go to a team that allows you to develop the right way that you need to to become that player. Lonzo Ball is a good example. Lonzo Ball went to the Lakers. Them niggas did not touch his jump shot. He shot like shit. He went to the Pelicans. Day one, they changed his jumper. Day one, they started working on his jumper. He begins to shoot better and continues to shoot better for the rest of his career. If Lonzo Ball is drafted to the Pelicans, they change his jumper from day one, and he's looked at as a different shooter. If Lonzo Ball is never traded for the Pelicans, he's still shooting like this and is an uh, inconsistent shooter. With Russell Westbrook, <laughs> Russell Westbrook has been a below-average three-point shooter his entire career. He had the one year where he shot relatively well, especially definitely for him, was the astronomical year he shot seven fucking um, threes, and, and, and it was crazy, and he hit crazy percentage. But other than that, he's been a bad shooter. It is not wrong for me to say, you know what, I'm going to accept that Russ is a bad shooter, and let's just work, let's just maximize what you're good at Rather than focusing on what you're bad at. Take hold on. If I as a coach say, instead of worrying about you doing something that either A, you don't want to do, or B, you literally can't do, because it's Ox said, Ox says, which I agree with, everybody can't do everything. Okay, well, Some guys Dumbo, have a feeling of what they can actually that. do and, and improve. So let as me a coach, that. if you're asking me if I have a uh, Ben Simmons. Oh, am I going to just accept who he is? Yes, I'm gonna pull an Eric Spoelstra. I'm gonna maximize what the hell you're good at, and I'm a, and I'm literally gonna get other guys, especially if you're let a me, focal point of my team. I'm gonna get other guys to do the shit that you can't. And, and, and let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. And, and that's why that's why your cap. And I know Bob will agree with me on this. That's why your cap and the league is watered down. First of all, what makes the greatest players great, Bob? You know what makes the greatest players great, Bob? They work on the things that they're not strong at. They work on their weaknesses. So when we saw a guy like Kobe Bean Bryant. Every single summer, he's working on his weaknesses. He breaks his right hand. He works on his left hand. Now he plays both hands. He's ambidextrous. You understand what I'm saying? All these dudes, they worked on things they were weak at. If your ball handling was weak, 
and okay, in the offseason, mm -hmm. I'm going to improve my ball handling. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But see, a dude like this, you came in here last year and you criticized Jalen Brown for not being able to dribble with his left hand, and it cost this team in the playoffs. Now, if he goes this summer, doesn't work on his left hand, guess who will be coming back this year crying, whining like a little baby, talking about this guy didn't improve on his game? You. Because it would have cost no. his team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He cost his team again because what we have done is, Bob, we have watered down the league because guys like Mars and guys like Damo have lowered expectations from what they're supposed to see from the star players in the league and from the best players in the league. Because when you are truly great and when you truly want to reach your potential, you don't go in the gym and work on things you're already great at. You work on the things and you improve the things you aren't great at. That is the problem mm -hmm. and the reason why you had guys like DeAndre Jordan that never got better, never worked on mm -hmm. a post game. This is the reason why a lot of other guys in the NBA, JaVale McGee, all these other dudes, they never got better because they did not work and implement other aspects into their game. You're always supposed mm -hmm. to work on your weaknesses. That is the worst thing oh. you could have said was, oh, well, focus on your strengths. No, you're supposed to focus on your weaknesses to strengthen them. That way it makes you more dangerous. <clears throat> Well, help that Bob. Am I lying, Bob? No, those 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 are those are really great points you just made. Thank you. But, but 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 this this is what I will say, and I still I still believe that everybody is not going to be great at everything. So when I but when I say that, I mean like if I'm if I'm a fifty like if I'm a fifty three percent free throw shooter, right? <laughs> but I'm 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 tired I'm tired of getting subbed out of games at the end of the fourth quarter. So I'll go work on that. But I probably I, I might get to a, a 73 percent free throw shooter. But I'll never be a great free throw shooter, and that's and that's what I mean by that. Some people, some people just won't ever be great at certain things, but they can make it to where their weaknesses don't make don't get them off the court. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I think I, I do believe that. I do believe that, but I, I still do believe that there are some things that some people just aren't going to get. And you can work on it, and you should work on it. But everybody's not going to be like Kobe. Kobe Bryant is, is is a rare is a rare breed of people that actually can be good at everything. You know, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, those there's a there's a reason why they're on the Mount Rushmore of basketball. Everybody's not gonna be able to do that. But I, I, I agree with you though, Tiki. You you have to work on your weaknesses without a doubt. And with Jalen, with the Jalen Brown example, no, I won't be the one crying about his half left hand getting better. Because if you listen instead of worried about talking for the whole episode, you would know that in those conversations about Jalen Brown, I was the one that pointed out if you look at Jalen Brown in college and his first year from college to now, his handle has improved drastically. His handle has definitely improved a shit ton. I was the one that sat here and said, even that it, even though it did develop a shit ton, maybe the Celtics got, said, you're at a point now to where we're not worried about your left hand as much as we were. Let's worry about other things. That's why I said it's on the team. No one is saying these players don't need to individually work on their games and work on their weaknesses. What I said, again, listen, you have two years, one mouth. The coaches in game time situations should just maximize their strengths. There is no point in the middle of the game should I be worried about maximizing your fucking weakness in the heat of the battle. When we're on the court, all right, I can only work with your strengths. That is literally what I said. Build a, build your player, build a team around your player, if he is your star player, to, to, to negate his weaknesses if there are weaknesses and they're not being worked out. But I'm not saying, oh, yeah, Ben Simmons just going all season and just do the damn mic and drill all day. No one is saying that, Ticket. No one okay, well, that. I, will come I didn't say Ben Simmons tomorrow. don't need to work on his game. I, I, I said that. Go ahead. I will give Go Ron ahead. the evidence tomorrow of you and what you mm -hmm. said in the aftermath of them losing that series. And that is not what you said. You came in I here. We and hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Because I got you on tape, Rat Tail. I got you on tape. You came in here and you tore, you tore. His ass to shreds. You and Chilltown did. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. And you blame uh, Dama, you tore it to shreds? You blame hold on, Ron. Do you not yeah. remember when he said this? Hold on, Ron. Do you not Ron? Do you not remember when he came in here after I'm on record? I'm on record. I said that an elite player in Jalen Brown. I said I'm on record. I said an elite player in Jalen Brown. As good as he is, his left hand should not be that weak. It looks I, his handle looks average. Critical. 
That's what I, I was said. very critical of his left hand. I'm not saying I wasn't critical of his left hand. So if you're going to pull up the tape of me going crazy and calling him <laughs> Nightwing and Robin and, 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 and Aqualad, sure, pull up the tape. Let me ask also you one pull question, up, oh, No, 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 no. no. Also pull up the tape of me talking about how good his hand was improved. No, no, no. Dumb. I just want to ask you. you can do that. No, no, People can no, go no. here okay, cool. and no, find no. me d- dismantling Westbrook. You can also no. go here and find me thinking of Westbrook and giving him his credit. So don't Dumbo. play that game. I just want to ask you one question, Damo. So mm-hmm. do you feel like, based off what we saw last year, mm-hmm. and everybody can answer this in the chat and, and up here on the panel, do y'all feel like he should work on his left hand this year coming back or come back with the same same type of problems again? He's because actively working on his right hand. Gonna sell that. He's actively <laughs> working on his left hand. There's, I, I follow the Celtics' YouTube and Twitter page. They're literally posting videos of him working mm-hmm. out with his left hand. He's literally that's doing my, it. Hold on. So that's and my I don't like that, if he, that's if, he, if, he, if he comes out and yeah. his left hand is still weak, I'm still going to say he's trash with his left. Even okay, so about right. Hold on, on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that personally, Damo. I don't like it. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I like him work. I don't like him posting about it. <laughs> oh yeah, they've been going crazy about his left hand. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like running. that. But that's it's the age that we live in, Ox. I mean, everything is everything that's a is, fact. Is, 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 right. is documented. Is play. So it's not a, so it's not like it's a situation where you can hide it. Everything is on display. So if this dude is working on his left hand, just like if Ben Simmons is in the gym shooting. We're going to see it. So if Ben Simmons, not Ben Simmons, I'm sorry, if, if Jalen Brown is working on his handle to get better, we're going to see it because everybody was critical of him not being able to handle the basketball with his left hand like he should have been. So the fact that it's out there, it's just going to be out there because that's the age that we live in today. I'm they say they're causing the news, Chill Chill. Ain't that what y'all said? Ain't that what y'all said? My, 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 thing, my thing with Jalen Brown is all you got to be able to do is just not lose the ball. I don't need you out here on your Kyrie with your left hand doing all this. Just don't lose the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if they're forcing you left, go left and attack and be able to finish. You know what I mean? I don't need you doing all types of in and out between the legs, all this between between type of shit with your left hand. I don't need that, gentlemen. I don't no, need I'm that. Not, I, 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 I think we all agree. He has to improve. My point is he has to improve it as a key he player. Does. He does. No, you're right. If you get to those seven-game series, Chilltown knows this. What's the scout report, Chilltown? We're pushing him to his left. So now you have to be able to improve that because if you have a situation where something goes on with Jason Tatum and you have to take over the game and now they're only pushing to you to your left, that is a problem. That's my whole Tiki, point. Tiki, we did that. No, no, no. It was, that many, was, it, was, it, was, it was games. Where, what, was that last year or this year when Jason Tatum was out in the uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals? Wasn't it? Jason no, Tatum hurt no, himself? No, no. Jalen Brown had to play. They had to play without him? No, Jalen Brown he, he, he played. I mean, he no, played. Damo, Damo, eight tennis. But he had eight Damo tennis. Damo 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 specifically criticized him for his ball handling with his left hand. And all I'm saying to Mars and Damo, because they was talking about it, is that with Ben Simmons, don't, don't say, oh, I'm satisfied, because he still has other things he can clearly improve to help his game. His shooting is a major detriment, not only to him, but to his team. The Philadelphia 76ers, could have probably been in the NBA Finals and potentially won a championship if this dude would have worked on his shooting like he's supposed to. You can pay two hundred million dollars. You're supposed to work on your game, bro. You're supposed to work on your weaknesses, bro. This is why you have all the money to get the trainers for to do the work in the off season, bro. No excuses, man. I I, I never said I'm satisfied. By the way, those words never left my mouth. I, you I just said, said you're satisfied with, no, uh, with no. What I said was the reality of the situation is he can't shoot, and for me to not accept reality would be me living in denial. He cannot shoot. Whether or not I like that he cannot shoot is irrelevant to the fact that he cannot shoot. I am accepting the actual situation at hand. He is not a good shooter. Me accepting it or not doesn't change the fact he's not a good shooter. So why would I not accept the reality of the situation and just look, he can't shoot. So let's, how do we work around this? I know he can't shoot. The whole team knows he can't shoot. The other team knows he can't shoot. What is the solution to that problem? Either he develops a jump shot or we will find a way around it. That's the it's two options we have right now. And, and it's not, he's not, and it's not that he's not working all on his game. All I'm doing is using check. my common sense to say, if someone can't shoot, me not accepting it doesn't make him all of a sudden be able to shoot. But it's not that he's not, not working on his game. That's the difference. It's not because we've seen him working on his game. That's the difference. He doesn't want to because we've seen him working on his game. And what I'm doing now, and what I've done now at this point, every NBA player can shoot in open gym. I've seen Andre Drummond do it. Are we going to say Andre Drummond needs to start shooting threes now in the NBA because I've seen him working on it in the summer? Every NBA player can shoot in an empty gym when they're in the offseason, every single one. 
Draymond Green has done it. Ben Simmons has done it. Every single NBA player who's on Stephen Adams does it. I'm not about to say Stephen Adams shoot four threes a game because I see you working on it in the summer. No, because we know these are professional athletes and shooting in an open gym, as you guys who have played high level basketball know shooting in an open gym is not the same as shooting in a competitive game at high game speeds. Everyone knows that's not the same thing. In football, I'll relate it to football. Defenders can shoot from 30 yards. They're not doing that in games because that's not what the game calls for and that's not Mars their skill set against actual competition. Mars I'm Black. not about to say because you work on it in an empty gym, I'm expecting you to do it in an NBA game. That's Mars not Mars realistic. Well, that, but I am going to say that though, Mars, and the reason why I'm going to say that right, is well, because that's, that's why you get better. That's why you get because I'm working on it in an open gym. But then I watch him and then he doesn't imply it, right? He doesn't implement it. So now I'm at a point where he's 27 years old. How many more years does he have at this level? From what I've seen up until this point, I just have to accept that this is who this guy is. Am I okay with that? No, but this is who he is. That's it. Hey, Brett Brown got fired because of that. He pushed that dude to shoot the ball, chill. So it ain't that he can't shoot. It's that he's afraid to shoot. That's a big difference. Okay, that's upstairs. That's a mental thing. I, I, think, I, th I think we can all agree now. For taking too many jump shots, and I'm going to criticize Ben Simmons for not taking enough jump shots. I don't get why we want a bad shooter to shoot more jump shots. It's, it's weird to me. I, I, Mars, like, Mars, my whole point is with, 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 with all the offense we have in the NBA, a Ben Simmons jump shot is not the best situation to have on the floor. If, why would Ben Simmons take a jump shot if we can get Cam Thomas a jump shot or Cam Johnson a jump shot or Spencer Dinwiddie a jump shot? Why does he need to be the one to shoot the ball if he could just create an open shot for someone who can actually shoot? Because you know what Ben Simmons does. He gets down here, he collapses the defense, he finds open shooters. He can find other people to shoot the ball. He doesn't need to do it. And you know what? Draymond Green, you get left open every play. Shoot the three. Don't give. Don't do the dribble handoff for Steph Curry. You need to shoot the three because guess what? You're being left open. No, there's better opportunities on the floor. Ben Simmons can create better shots for other people on the floor. So why do I need him to be the one to shoot when he can just get someone else the ball who can actually shoot the ball? For me, I'm thinking about finding the most optimal solutions. The most optimal solution is to surround Ben Simmons with shooters who he can get the ball to, and they can hide the fact that he's not a great shooter, and he can hide the fact that they're not great dribblers, or they're not great playmakers, or they're not great passers. That's what that's how team sports work. You find people who complement everyone else, and you make the best suitable roster for everyone's strengths and weaknesses. That's but how you, always but before worked. you can do any of that, work. but before you can do any of that, Mars, you have to accept who these guys are. Like, I, I can't make Ben Simmons be something, right? I can't make Ben Simmons be something that he's not. Okay, Ben, I've seen you working on your jump shot. You still, after all of these years, have not implemented that into your game at game speed when we're playing in an NBA game, whether it's on a Tuesday night in Portland in January or in the NBA semifinals you still have not implemented that and now we're going into i think year seven that we're in now so with that being said i have to now accept that this is who he is and because i've accepted this is who he is he's not magic he's not isaiah thomas he's not that guy that i was hoping that he would turn out to be but now i'm gonna be okay with what his game is now okay how can we make you the best player that you are now because i thought you were this well you're not that well, how can we get the most out of you and maximize your skill set, which you are now? That's where I'm at with him. I, I think we can all agree. How we can all agree what you said. Can I ask that? He's, a, he's not aggressive think, enough. Good, That's the yeah. problem. I think now, if you want to say the biggest problem with Benson is the lack of aggression as a scorer, I agree. Because I think there's times he doesn't look at the rim. Because when he doesn't want to go to the strike. One thousand percent. That is an issue that I think needs to be worked on. The free throw shooting is an issue he, that needs to be worked on. Because you can't be shooting 30% from the line as a guard. You can't be doing it. That is something that's unforgivable. That needs to be worked on. He needs to be more aggressive around the rim. Sure. But asking Ben Simmons to suddenly become a jump shooter when he's never shown the capability of doing that, to me, is ludicrous. I just don't get why we're asking him to do stuff that he's clearly not capable of doing. And it's the same thing I said about Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has the weakness going left. I've been very vocal about that. I've been saying it for years. I've also said in the same breath that everyone has a ceiling to what they're able to do. If everyone could just work on their game as much as possible and would automatically become great at it, Everyone would be able to handle the ball like Kyrie and everyone would be able to shoot like Steph Curry or Ray Allen. But there's a ceiling to the capabilities that people have. If Russell Westbrook lived in the gym, he still wouldn't be able to shoot like Steph Curry. If Jalen Brown lived in the gym, he still wouldn't be able to handle the ball like Kyrie Irving. That's what makes these guys so great because they have the ability to do stuff at a level no one else can do it. Jalen Brown, no matter how hard he works, I believe will never be a great ball handler and will never have a great left hand. I don't believe he's not working on it. Domo said he's seen the videos of him working on it. I believe he's working on it. I believe he has a ceiling to how good it can be. And I believe Boston now have a duty 
to find a way to work around the fact that he's Excellent. never going to be a great great ball handler going left. Totally I believe mean, Brooklyn have a duty to work around the fact totally that Ben never going to be a great. I team. totally disagree. With I think Golden State had a duty to work around the fact that Draymond Green was never going to be a great jump shooter. I think Golden State had a duty to work around the fact that Steph Curry was never going to be a great defender. That's the duty of these teams and these coaching staffs to work around the weaknesses of their players while enhancing their strengths. That's Mar literally their job because there's Mar not a single player in NBA history who is great at every single thing on the floor. Nobody Even MJ that. wasn't a great three point shooter. Nobody no said that. He improved, it. He, improved it. he improved it. And I'm going to tell you this, Mars. He a great man. The my line father. Sure, a, great, a great man. The my line father. Back to his regular told me, length and he couldn't shoot again. A great man. My father always told me this in life, what you do most is what you do best. Whatever you do most is what you Whatever you do most is what you do best. If you get drunk, like if you drink a lot, you gonna be like the best that, drinking man. son of a gun out here. One, one more time, one, one more time, ticket. What you, what you, you what you? Lot, I gotta you write that down. What you do most is what you do, what best. You do best. I gotta best. write that if down. Y'all gonna like sit that. up there and play that game all day? He gonna be the best two K playing game. I can get a stick to Damo, and he don't know a damn thing about how to play the game. But if Damo plays the game every day, he about in, about in a year he will be the best guy that gone two K player in the world. So whatever you do most is what you do best. Uh, you can Mars. You can look like you look. And go to the gym for a whole year workout and look completely different. You know why? Because you're putting the work in. So what you're saying is cap. And this is the reason why I said when you have guys like us that have been in the field, you don't this listen. Our opinions, you don't don't listen. Why our opinions matter, Mars, because what you do most is what you do best. If Jalen Brown focused the whole summer working on his left hand, improving his left hand, when you continuously work on it, it will get better. It's called muscle memory. It's called programming your body. It's called time. Bro, you can have people who don't know how to walk. I mean, who, excuse me, been in accidents, forgot how to walk. What do they have to do, Mars? They have to reprogram their mind, their brain, and their body in order to walk again. They have to reprogram. If you lose a limb, you have to reprogram your mind, your body to function with the other limb. So, yes, it's other it's things that you can do. I ain't saying you got to be great at it. I'm saying be serviceable. I'm saying the fact that you have guys that are getting paid all this money, and all they're supposed to do is work on their game, a majority of them are not doing that. They're not really putting in the work. How do I know? Because I see it. They're not working on their game in the all season, like talking about. They're doing it for the gram, bro. They ain't really putting in the work. You can see the guys who are really putting in the work and proving. You can see the KDs. Kevin Durant, from when he came in from year one on, improved his game. LeBron James, from when he came in from year on, he improved his game. You've seen the improvement in his jump shot. You've seen when he said, I got to go back and do this. I got to go back and do that. You've seen the improvements in these guys' games. So all I'm saying is, is this. When you look at the guys who never improve, who never work on their weaknesses, that is a choice. That is an option of theirs. And like I said again, Mars, what you do most is what you do best. If Ron goes outside, no, excuse me, if Lowe goes outside right now and Lowe runs the 40-yard dash, Lowe will run the 40-yard dash in a minute. But if Lowe <laughs> Low works out every single day, next three years, and he runs that dash, he'll come he back. I it. guarantee you he'll be better. I guarantee you he'll be better. I don't he'll be, he'll that's, be that's, not, that's, that's not the point I made. I said, I said, no matter how hard, no matter how hard Lou tries, he's never gonna run a four, four three. He's never gonna run a four four. Better, no matter bro. how hard Lou tries, he can run it for five years straight. He'll never run a four four. He's never gonna do that. He's never gonna run a four four because he just doesn't have that capability. He doesn't have the muscle fibers. He doesn't have the fast twitch fibers to run a four four like a Tyree Kill. He can't do that. But what he can do is improve upon himself, which is what Jalen Brown has done. Like, like Domo said, like I've said in the past, if you look at Jalen Brown when he was in California on his first year in the NBA, what his handle looked like then to what it has now, he has improved. He's clearly worked on it, but everyone has a ceiling. Jalen Brown will never be a great ball handler, I don't believe, because everyone has a ceiling to what they can do. I believe Yanis has been working on his jump shot his whole career. He's never going to be a great jump shooter because I just think he has a ceiling. Every human has a ceiling of what they can do in a certain situation, whether it be hand-eye coordination holding them back, whether it be the size of their hands, whether it be their height, where their weight, wherever it may be, everyone has a ceiling to what they are able to do in certain situations. All I'm saying is, no matter how hard guys work, they will never surpass that ceiling they have. Jalen Brown, to me, is reaching that ceiling with his left hand. Ben Simmons, if you want to say he, does, he just refuses to shoot and we're never going to get to see how close he is to his ceiling, sure, Ben Simmons is a different case to Jalen Brown, in my opinion. They're two different things. Because Jalen Brown clearly has worked on his handle, and you can see it on the game. He's clearly working on it. I just think he's maxing out where he can get to. Ben Simmons, sure. If you want to argue that he just refuses to shoot and we'll never see how good of a shooter he can actually be, that's fine. I'm not about to argue against that because I think Ben Simmons is a different case. But me saying that someone has a ceiling to any ability they may have, whether that be shooting, dribbling, finishing at the rim, playing defense, whatever it is, everyone has a ceiling. No matter how hard they work, they are not going to get past that ceiling they have 
where that is just wired into them. They told Jimmy Butler, physically, Butler mentally, yeah, whatever told Jimmy it is. Butler no one's going to get past that early ceiling they, ceiling they have. The last four years. They told Jimmy Butler he had a ceiling when he was back in the days with Chicago. They told him he had a ceiling. Jimmy Butler crashed the ceiling and went through the ceiling and, and achieved far further, greater, and above more than what anybody thought just he could people do. were wrong about their ceiling doesn't mean he doesn't have a ceiling. The people oh, just saw yeah. his ceiling incorrectly. The same thing with Kawhi Leonard. People didn't see his offensive game developing the way it did. That doesn't mean he didn't have the ceiling he has. Mom, Everyone has a 17. ceiling. Everyone has the ceiling. Just because they exceeded the ceiling that other people set out for them doesn't mean that's the actual ceiling they had. Wemby's ceiling might be the GOAT, but if he doesn't reach that, doesn't mean, oh, he didn't reach his ceiling. It means we misrepresented Mar, what he could have been. Question. The same did reason you... why Steph Curry's ceiling wasn't to be this player that he became, that's because people didn't see him doing that. But him doing that doesn't change the fact that his ceiling is what he has become. Mar, not what question. people before expected came... him to become. We just Mar, misrepresented you... him. Mars, before you came... Yo, and then after this question, Ticker, we got to move on. Before you came on PC, were you debating basketball, Mars? Online? No. Okay, did you ever think that you would be doing this at this level before you came on PC? No. All right, then. Shut the hell up. I won. Mmm. Tiki cooked you with your own life story. <laughs> Damn. Marcy, hey, Marcy, okay. never think you tell, hey how, how R. Kelly and, and I said, did you ever think that you would be this rich? He never thought that he would did be you doing ever this. Think that you would... he, never, he never thought he'd be going one-on-one with a great one. But guess what, Chill Town? He is. So it is what it is. He Mars did Mars overachieved based off what he thought he was going to. Do. Mars thought run. Mars thought he was going to be a comment dude that was in the comments like everybody else is now, leaving a comment in the chat and watching everybody else debate. He never thought he was going to be up here on the big screen doing what he do. He never thought he was going to be able to have the capability to do what he was doing with Dub. He never thought this. Now that he's here, bro, you you already proven yourself. That is this was never the avenue I planned on going down. I didn't think, oh, yeah, my ceiling in life is going to be commenting on players' choice. That was never the thinking. I never just thought I was ever going to be on players' choice. It was never <laughs> a thought that crossed my mind. I hope you yeah. do more, too, man. Like, I'm sorry. Are. That was never, that was never, I was never, I was never, I was never, I was never in my bed commenting on players' so like, yeah, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. I just want to be commenting. Like, no, that was never the plan. I, I had other things I was prioritizing in my life. I ended up on player's choice, and now this is the avenue I'm going down. That's different to an NBA player who's been working to be in the NBA their whole life. That's a completely mm. different situation. But, but sure, yeah, I'm cooked. We can move I can, on, I can, I, I can appreciate, I can appreciate Ticket's logic of you know, if every player had the work ethic of Kobe Bryant, would it be great? Yes. If every player got better every single offseason, would it be great? Yes. But I think the reality is, like to what Mars Domino Adam says, there, there's going to be players who just simply don't get better or reach the heights that, that they should in, in certain aspects of their game. And it's okay. And you and you work around those issues and you optimize those guys in the way they should be. Because, again, if everybody had Kobe's, LeBron, Jordan's abilities, I mean, just what, is everyone going to be an all-star? The league, everyone's the, league be an all-star the league wouldn't be so watered down like it is now if everybody worked on their game, period. But, I mean, sure. Uh, well, we got to move on. So yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, but speaking of uh, 2K, um, Ticket had brought up 2K. Uh, I was talking to my good friend Pirate. We haven't seen Pirate in a while. but um, he had a message that he wanted me to send to you guys. And he said, quote, unquote, and I quote, he said, and please make it clear. I am the best damn 2K player Mars has ever seen. And he's admitted as such. He was talking like I'm a damn Kevon Looney when I'm Wilt motherfucking Chamberlain. And to be clear, I'm not, quote, unquote, just a big. I make 10 builds a year and I'm golden with all of them. But make it clear. Damo, <laughs> my 7-2 with 98 passing, who averages 23 rebounds and 7 assists, will bust your ass with your charming, with your charming soft 76-3 ball, stretch big. All right, I'm done. My my big has hey, a 79 to tell Pirate three that he needs to and an 85. Clubs. That's what we need to do. First of all, we need to tell Pirate to actually do his research on what my big man is. My nigga has a 79-3, 85 <clears> mid. Like, I don't know what we talking about. And Pirate, if I wanted to just make a Wilt Chamberlain build like an old head, I would. It's not hard to max out your rebounding and max out your standing dunk and just sit in the paint and dunk on everybody that didn't upgrade the defense. Whoa, old guy. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> you don't want this smoke? Yeah, pa, 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 I'll go get a big right now. I'll go play with Mars. I'll go get a big right now, and I'll go play with Mars, and I will be the best motherfucking player Mars ever played with easily. What are you talking about, Pirate? Damn, Pirate. Once Pirate can catch love, you can be the best big I ever seen. You, you can't even time moment. the X button. You can't even time yeah, X until, square. You're not ready until for then, me. Man, until what? then, man. Until then, man. Nah, Pirate, Pirate, Pirate is very good defensively. Good passer. Finish around the rim. Can't catch love. 
It's not hard to just pa okay, so pass to the open man. Just Damn, even in 2K, you can't be good at everything. Mm. Hey, I can, but not everyone can. That's I'm about to say shit. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's, it's time to move on. Uh, you guys see the title of the show. These players are locks for these NBA awards this season. Well, we're going to talk about two awards this season. The first one we're going to talk about is Clutch Player of the Year. Then we're going to get into Six Man of the Year as well. But let me go ahead and put this on the screen. Oh, we have a PC group of our of our panelists or our experts or all of that good stuff. And so um, we all come together and we compile a list. And we take the averages of what everybody says and we put it all together. And so this is how we're coming up with these lists. You may have seen them more so on our social medias. We're starting to drop them and whatnot. So all these lists that we do up here, we will eventually drop them. But with no further ado, here's the Clutch Player of the Year ranking. I'm going to read it out to you guys, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, at number one, you guys see we have Damian Lillard. At Yo, two, what the hell is this? <laughs> I mean, this is bad. I'm supposed to oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Let me read it for our audio listeners. It's Clutch Player of the Year rankings, play, Player's Choice Edition. We have mm -hmm. Damian Lillard, number one. SGA at two. Uh, at three... We have a tie, Trey Young, Anthony Edwards, Kevin Durant, which we're going to break that tie right here, right now on the show. Uh, and then at six, we have De'Aaron Fox. Seven, we have Steph. Eight, we have Jimmy Butler. Nine, we have Luka. Ten, we have Kyrie Irving. Eleven, Donovan Mitchell. And at 12, Jamal Murray came in. Um, thoughts on this list, guys. And we do have to break this tie. Yeah, I, I think it's a good list. I, I think it's a good list. Yeah, I got, I got, you know, the, the top two is similar to my top two, just a little switch. So, yeah, we don't got the right Every player I said okay. was in yeah. the top three. Wait, can you pull it up again? Just, just real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. okay. The Jamal Murray disrespect was a little, a little, a little much. I thought okay. he should have been a little higher. Uh, Jalen, you were the only one that voted for Jamal Murray, by the yeah, way. People, hey, Jamal Murray. Was that the only one that voted for Kyrie? Um, oh, I, I voted think for two people. Yeah, two people voted for Kyrie, but they were at the bottom of your list, so yeah. they didn't get as much points. We just saw Jamal Murray closing out games in the playoffs back to back to back, and we just gonna ignore that. Is Damian Lillard gonna be able to close out games playing with the dude he's playing with now? Like, is he gonna have to do the stuff that he did in Portland with this with with, with, with running with Giannis? Is he gonna have to? He's gonna make be given the opportunity. Like that? Yeah, he's gonna be given the opportunity to take every <clears throat> final shot. Giannis is not gonna be that guy. He's gonna be Dave Lillard get the ball in his what, what I'm asking Damo is that. is he had way more opportunities because what I'm looking at with this with, with this Milwaukee team, they're gonna be apparently they're gonna be better. So they played in a lot more close games when he was in Portland because he wasn't playing with a superstar like that. He was not on a team like that. So when we're talking about Damian Lillard playing in the clutch in the last five minutes of games, are they are there going to be teams? Are there going to be nights where more nights where they pull away from teams later? So there's going to be less clutch moments like there was in Portland, as opposed to guys like uh, De'Aaron Fox, Anthony Edwards. Are they going to be are, are there going to be less clutch nights for him? That's my. Yeah, that's I, my I, I think I, that, that was that was my theory. That was I put them on the list, but that's what I was thinking about with who I was putting on the list. How many clutch situations you actually going to be in? Which is why I didn't put Kevin Durant or any Phoenix Suns because I think they're just going to be blowing teams out. So, mm -hmm. um, but I do think the Bucks are going to be in enough close games because I think there's going to be a a feeling out period, right? And B, I think they want to be in those situations where they do have their clutch time offense where they do run certain sets with Dame and Giannis to close games. And I think Dame, every time, is going to have the ball in his hands. With the Suns, it's a bit different. you got KD, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, who can all create their oh, shot on the perimeter. Sure. Who can all create their shot on the perimeter basically whenever they want, whereas the Bucks is a bit less, it's a bit different where you really only have Dame and Chris Middleton who can create their shot on the perimeter. And chill, the so Bucks will get I blown out Dame's less than Portland. I feel like Portland got blown out more, so he might get you more. Mean blowing team, you mean blowing teams out more, you mean? No, but yeah, but I, 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 Portland's, Portland's might not blow teams, teams out, out as much, but they're yeah. getting blown out more than yeah. Milwaukee. Was. So more than the Bucks. Portland got blown out well. more, which took away right. some opportunity from Lillard, while Milwaukee, I think, against especially some other good teams, they'll be in more close games, and he'll be given more fourth-quarter opportunities. But, but, but even if that's true, when is, when are they basing? They're basing clutch, your clutch performance. It's basically in the last five minutes of, I think, the fourth quarter. The last five mm -hmm. minutes of the fourth quarter. Yep. So when I think about the when I think about the Milwaukee Bucks, I don't think that they're gonna have. I don't think they don't get me wrong. I don't think they're gonna be blowing everybody out because I do think that there's gonna be a grace period here where these two dudes are gonna have to try to. They're gonna have to figure it out. 
But as opposed to with him being in Portland, they had a lot. That the, the games that they had were a lot closer than they were with Milwaukee because he was on a better, he was on a, he's on a more talented team today. So when you look at the Eastern Conference and you look at the lower half of the Eastern Conference, I don't think that they're going to have a, as many close games as some of the guys that I have on my list. I think they'll end up having um, close games for the simple fact again the filling out process and depending on how the other guys play. If it's a situation where like. Uh, Marjan probably, or if it's a reality where Marjan isn't as ready as people think he is, or his step is more of a step instead of a leap, and he's not ready, or these other guys on the team aren't panning out, and it's really coming down to their big three first of the world, they're going to be in a lot of close games. The reason I said Giannis the way I did is because in clutch time situations, on this team, it's not going to be between Dame and Giannis. It's going to be between Dame and Chris Middleton. And I voted Dame one. I, I, I did vote Dame one. Uh, he was one on my list. I took the bias hat off when I voted. Uh, I, I feel like when it comes down to it, instead of now you have to force feed the ball to Chris Middleton because Giannis is he's scared to go to the line. He doesn't want to shoot. And Chris Middleton had to be a closer. Now you have Dame, a guy that wants that responsibility, and mm -hmm. he's the point guard. So he's, for the most part, he's dictating where the ball is going anyway. He's setting up the plays. He's he's the one calling uh, uh calling emotions. And now he wants that responsibility and wants the opportunity. So I think he's going to take advantage of it. Um, at, the, at, the risk, at the risk of sounding biased, at the risk of sounding like a homer, so, I just want to point out. I just, I just want to point out that uh, De'Aaron Fox has won 100 percent of the Clutch Player of the Award of the Year awards. He is the only player in the NBA to win that award. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, so they're he's not going to give the same person won, the award back to back. He's just he's, he's won, eliminated. He's, he's, won all of them. he's won all of them. All of them. Which, which is why he's eliminated from contention because they're not going to let one player win all of the awards for the rest of NBA history. So, unfortunately, that's why he never got a vote from me, because I know the politics of NBA awards. If you've won all of the awards in NBA history, they're not going to let you win it again. They're going to for someone else. They're already tired of them. They're already I, tired I, of them. I think this is the way it is. Y'all are, are sick. No, no, y'all are talking about us. Y'all going to be beating teams in the fourth quarter anyway, so he's mm. not going to need to be clutch. You got don't, pet, don't, don't patronize me, Damo. I'm being serious. I, I think this award is going to have the most different winners over the next decade simply because of the variance of people will be putting that situation of having, you know, that fourth quarter close game. So I just think there'll be a different winner almost every year for this award. I think it's Anthony Edwards. I'm not going to be one of them. Bum. No, he no, he will not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, I do want to go around the room and ask everybody who who they think the winner will be. Um, mm -hmm. Chill was on his way to doing that, so go go ahead and tell us who you think is going to win, Chill, and why. I think I think it's Anthony Edwards. I'm not out on that Minnesota team. I think that this season with Jaden McDaniel's back, with um, Nas Reed back, I think they're going to be a much better defensive team, and I think that a lot of the games that they have are going to come down to meat and potatoes of their games. The meat and potatoes of the game, they're going to have to come up with big stops. I think Anthony Edwards is going to do that. A lot of people think Clutch is just getting buckets. Clutch is not just getting buckets. Clutch is coming up with a big steal. Clutch is coming up with a big block. Clutch is coming up with a charge. Clutch is a number of different things that you can do in the meat and potatoes of the game to help your team win. It's not just a guy just getting buckets. And I think that Anthony Edwards on this Minnesota team, when they get into the meat and potatoes of the games that they're going to win, that's going to help them propel them into a top six, maybe even a top five seed. He's going to be integral in that. I think he's going to be the clutch player of the year. Cool, cool. Dama, who you got? Uh, Kyrie Irvin. Uh, I think Kyrie Jennings is going to win it because that Mavs team sucks so bad when they are in <clears> close <throat> games or when they are in game winning situations. Luca's a great player, but I think he's going to respect the fact that Kyrie is Kyrie. I would pick Kyrie. I think he wants that too, Damo. Like I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I think the fact that he's running with Kyrie. He now has a guy who he's not responsible solely for his offense to that. He's now has a guy that he can get him the basketball, just get out the way and let him work. And I mean, Kyrie Irving is also good at creating shots for other people too. And that's going to enhance his game. So I think he definitely is welcoming that. Yo, ticket, talk to us. Who you got as the clutch player of the year this year? In the NBA? Yes, no, sir. ticket in the NFL. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. What you were talking about that? The NHL, but let's say this. Um, chicken eating mother. Yeah, man. I mean, I ain't eating Domino's chicken, though. 
Damo like you know, you know, you know, respecting the court Chris. Like the Ro- Damo, like the Roach investor. Damo with the Damo. You have to, you, Damo, you had a wild ass spot, Damo. You if if real, a Roach investor spot is the best chicken spot, maybe y'all need to get some more roaches in your kitchen. I'm just saying. <laughs> if it clearly, that, clearly that adds in a flavor that not many people. Like, hey, Martin, Martin, really? that's, that's, that's good seasoning. That's top notch seasoning. Extra protein. I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm with Domo. If it's the best spot, <laughs> clearly <laughs> the roaches right, on. I didn't on, say it was a detriment to the chicken. You told I'm me sorry, Ron. Let, I'm sorry, Ron. Let, 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 we we kind of got off track. Tell I'm just we'll trying to figure out when I when I, when I when I get out to where Damo's at. If I'm a if he door dashes the food, if I'm gonna eat it or not, I'm like it's gonna be it's gonna be fire. I know it's gonna be fire, but I don't know if what I can question. Know, I, I got to question hurt integrity. You. you don't know can't hurt you. If you didn't see the food getting prepared, you don't know what touch. If the roach is on the floor and the chicken gets prepared on the table, this is the goofiest you don't know what hurt you. Table. Well, you don't. If you don't know about it, how can it affect you if you don't know? Yo, Chilton, whoever came up with that, what you don't know won't hurt you. Had. This much life experience. Zero, <laughs> big ox. Zero. In this, in this context, all you know is the chicken tastes like the best chicken you've ever had. Yeah, you wouldn't even. Meanwhile, know. unless me, someone tells you about the roaches, it's not going to affect you. Meanwhile, in six months or in a year, I find out that I got cancer from this chicken, even though it tastes <laughs> fantastic, and I don't know what, what the hell. Roaches, roaches, call... hey, roaches, roaches don't carry cancer. Roaches don't carry cancer. Hey, hey, Ron, I gotta go. With, I gotta go. With, I gotta go with Chill Town Boy. Talk to us. Yeah, talk to us. Who? I gotta go with Tatum. With who? JT. Yeah, Tatum. Based off, I seen him hit a couple big shots in the playoffs last year. Huge shots. He had a huge game winner, I think, in Philly. Uh, a huge shot down the stretch, I would say. He hit up some huge. Remember, they was down, and he hit all those threes to get him back when he was playing bad. He was playing like hell, and he hit all those threes and stuff. Then I seen him when they were down to, to Philly. All those, all those games. Three, I think it was down. Um, down and out in that series, he came up huge. I would have to say Tatum, even though I want to see him do it on the highest level. I would have to say Tatum. It's it's between Tatum and Kyrie. I, I'm not saying Kyrie because I haven't seen Kyrie do it as much lately. He's still living off the reputation of that shot with uh with uh Golden State, and so you know. But I, I would have to say that um, he has some big shots in Brooklyn. Hey man, those, uh, are, those are all great picks. But the guy I'm going with, the main man. Don't do it. Don't do it, Don't do it. SG, no, it's SGA from OKC. SGA from OKC. okay, okay, Jay. I thought you was about to do something. If you would have did that, Jay. No, he wasn't going to do that. He wasn't going to do that. I'm not going to do that in public. He considered it. I know he considered it. Yeah, you give me a vote now. Oh, he believes that, Mars? He truly believes that in his mind, Mars. Considering what, He definitely he definitely considered him. He considered him. He definitely considered him. I think SGA. I think SGA. We're going to talk about SGA. Wait, wait. Considered who in 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 Los Angeles? Angeles Mars. James, James, man. James, he thinks oh, LeBron man. is a clutches, even though he missed that layup when the series. Yeah, <laughs> Jalen, be honest, you considered it. You considered it. You <laughs> crossed right right no. Ron, right look at him, Ron. Right look at Jalen. <laughs> look at Jalen. Look at him. Bro, something wrong with this boy, man. Look at this boy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Mars. Mars. Yo, this nigga doing like Jones. He do, don't he? He do, don't he? He does. He does. This man really think you're LeBron. This is clutch. I ain't ashamed though. Get a a, a little, a little oh, bit, John, a little bit. Bob, it's crazy. Hey, it's Bob, crazy. Bob, <laughs> yeah, here we are Bob, laughing at him for one He believes. No, matter of fact, I take mine back. De'Aaron Fox. He believes. That this man is the clutchest dude in the game right now, bro. After what you just saw and him missing that game winner in the series against Denver, you still I, think I, I, I pick SGA. I pick it yeah, SGA. Jaylen, no, that, that's, that's, not what you that's not what you Hold on, like Mars said, that's not what you're picking, bro. All right, but Jalen, tell us who you pick it up. Talk to us. Talk to us. We we know Ron's one, but 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 tell us who you pick it up. Tell the truth. Hey, Ron, tell us the truth. Jalen, I want you to make an argument why you think it's LeBron, Jalen. Because that's who you think it is. LeBron has the most clutch shots in the NBA in his career right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. It's, 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 we not. We not. Talk to us about SGA, bro. We, we can't. We can't do the LeBron thing right now. We can't. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> He does. He has the most game winners in the playoffs. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen. Talk no, to Ron. us about SGA. No, Ron. No, Ron. No, Ron. <laughs> Kick it. No, we're not doing this right now. He thinks it's LeBron. Now, I want him to explain 
why he <laughs> thinks he's LeBron. I want him to explain this. We, you you can't take it. You you take it. You could want him to do that all day. He can't. And the reason why he can't <laughs> can. is because there's no <laughs> argument for LeBron James to be the clutchest player no going into the year 21. No there there oh, is not a There is a no. He was doing that at four quarters. Stop playing with me. Yeah, Brian is still here. Brian is still here. He can still do that in the clutch. Oh, no, he can't. They don't know he cannot. No, he is no, still I here. fucking knew it, Bella. I knew it. I knew he was going to be here. I told you, bro. Bars is supposed to be here. That's how he knew it. I'm sorry. Let's move on. That's how he knew it. He's not done. He's not done, Chilton. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Go, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, take it. No, we go. We gonna move after this. You know how you said if Victor averages twenty five, you gonna be unbearable. If right. LeBron wins Finals MVP, y'all better kick me off the show. No, I no, promise you, no, no one want to see serious. me. If LeBron wins Finals MVP and they win a chip, the conversation that we gonna be what? having. Oh my Le god. Let me, let me ask you a question, Jalen. Really quick, really quick, and we and Ron, we're gonna move on. Really quick, Ron, we're gonna yeah. move on. Everybody here knows that I'm a James guy. If James, if the, the Lakers would have won the NBA championship and James would have won the NBA finals MVP, why would that change anything? All that's gonna do is just enhance the legacy. You already feel the way you do about him. No, so no, I, no, I already no, feel the way I do with him. I, I already right. feel the way oh, I yeah. do about him. Go. So if they win the NBA championship and he wins the finals MVP, I'm not going to be like, yeah, what about that? I'm going to be like, so? I mean, I chill. already feel the way I do about chill. the dude anyway. Chill. Time out. Cool. Hey, time out, chill. Cool. Time out. Bro, this boy really believed. Bro, <laughs> believe one of Sanders, man. He really believed that LeBron is the clutches in the game right now. He really Mars exposed this boy. This boy, he don't he said SGA to throw us off the scent. He really <laughs> what what well, chill though? He can I mean Tiki, he Canadian and SGA's from Canada, so that is still no, something no, no, that hits no, close no, to no, home. No, 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 this is player's choice. He gotta be honest, bro. He really believed it's LeBron James right now. Bro, I'll tell you right, you, you give me game seven in the playoffs last shot. I'm taking LeBron James over anyone. This, this can't be a hot take. Give me LeBron James game 21 over anyone in the league. Today, today, today. So we're, we're, we're in 23 24. We're in, tw yes. in 23 24 season, and it's yep. May, and they're in, the, they're in the Western Conference semifinals. It's mm -hmm. game seven, and you giving the ball to James yes. to win it. 39 year old James. Yes, sir. It's not even a question. I really don't think that's a hot take. Look, look he does, he's still not a top 10 player in the league with his reputation, his resume. I'm still giving it to him. Hey, that boy need to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it real, man. But let's go back to SGA. Let's go back to SGA. Please, so please, SGA, please. I, th I think him being the leader, him being the leader of, a, of a young team, a team that's going to be good, but I can see a team being that young, maybe having a big lead and they're giving up that league. I think there'll be a lot of dog fights, especially in the Western Conference where every team is good. I think SJ is going to have every opportunity um, to make big shots and be clutch, and he's going to hit a lot of those. So SJ is my pick to uh, to be the clutch player of the year. LeBron James in the playoffs, though. Okay. Hey, yo, right. bro. Cool, cool. They said in the comment <laughs> section, this man addresses LeBron to Ontario. <laughs> yeah, LeBron to the goat. What's him about LeBron to? No, they said your go. home address is LeBron to Ontario. Oh, we in the city, baby. We in the city. Yo, Jen, he from LeBron to? Hey, man, we're the LeBron to Jersey coming. LeBron to Jersey coming. Buddy, no, I don't. Jalen, Jalen, I swear to God, God, when we send I you some PC merch. But I can you, tell you right now, to your face, do not make me get on you about how you feel about Kobe Bryant. So don't even see with the much as you talk about me with James, do not make me get on you about Bryant because you worse. I don't want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. You talk about as biased as I am. You talk about me. When if we talk about you and Bryant, give me up. Break, oh, that's crazy. Chill, this I, I think, I'm thinking Michael Jordan Wizards years in, in, in 2000, 2001 when he's playing with the Wizards. All right, I'm taking him for the last shot too over Kobe during that time. Jalen, all I'm asking Jalen is that 
we have to be real. We we have to be realistic <laughs> about who this dude is at this point. I'm not, I'm not saying he's the best be. in the league. That's I'm all. Not the best in the league. Yeah, I'm not That's all we got to do. We just got to be realistic yeah. about who he is. Chill. At this he point. said he was Mars. He hey, said Jalen, he was game Mars. seven. Which player in the NBA you taking first over? That being that being that being pointed at the Which player you taking, Jalen? Right now, wait. I'll say this. I'll say this right now. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this for one game. Who has the highest ceiling in one game in the league today? It's LeBron James still. He still thinks he's the one best game? player. Oh, one, game? one game? Not, not for 82. Oh. Not for 82. One game? One game who has the highest ceiling in the game? It's still LeBron James. <laughs> it's not Jokic today, Luca. One game? Come on now. We saw that first half against Denver. What happened? Best Mars, you loving this too, Mars. <laughs> Mars, you, you're, 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 Mars, you loving this, ain't you, Mars? I'm starting. I'm starting. Hey, this, this is your boy, Mars. This is your boy. This is your boy. This is nuts. Right here, yo. Hey, All right, let's let's keep it pushing. Mars, I need to hear from you. Clutch Player of the Year. Who's your prediction for that award? Uh, my logic was what teams I think is going to be in the most clutch games. So which teams is going to have the games that go down to the wire the most? Because I think sheer volume of clutch performances will probably win you the awards. So um, I came down to the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Atlanta Hawks. They were the two teams I think will have the most close games this year. Mm-hmm. And then between, I'm following those two, you. between those two, um, I lean towards Trey Young. Um, mm-hmm. I think, I think Trey Young is better from all three levels at this point in his career. And I think in order to be, I'm just a better playmaker. And like Cho said, being clutch is more than just scoring. So I think Trey Young can consistently make better decisions in the clutch. I think his ability to play in the mid range, get to the rim and shoot the three is something that is invaluable down the stretch of games because teams will try and take away at least two levels, which is the three point shot and the rim. So Trey Young being better in the mid range is something that I think will um, definitely lead to him being a better closer. Also, if the preseason is anything to go by, him being able to play without the basketball means he can get looks in different ways this year, which means that's another layer to his game that um, Quinn Snyder might be able to unlock. And I think in close games, Trey Young will obviously be the guy they go to, but him having multiple ways in which he can get the ball and the multiple ways in which he can attack the defense is probably why I think I trust him to close more games this season than guys like Anthony Edwards. So he's my pick for clutch player of the year. And see, y'all, this is why Mars is box <clears throat> office because he comes up here and gives good takes like that. Now that's how you cook. Well, I want you guys to do it. I'm going to send y'all that snippet of what he just said. I want y'all to study that for the rest of the week. I'm pretty confident I said the same thing about Anthony Edwards. But you didn't say with a British accent, Joe. Oh, that's okay. the difference. You're right, okay. You didn't say with a British not. accent. You're right. You're right. Taking you know, Andy sometimes Andy it just Andy jumps Andy. off the screen, you know. Yeah. you know. It's about the pizzazz. It's about the pizzazz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Ox, last but not least, man, who you got for Clutch Player of the Year? Keep it a buck. Just like Jalen had to keep it a buck. First of all, let me say, speaking to you, Jalen, speaking to you, Jalen, that's that was that was great shit, bro. That's the most that's the most <laughs> that's the most exciting, bro. That's that's the most exciting I've had all week, bro. And I was and, and I was at the strip club last night, bro. And that's oh, the most man. that's the most excitement I've had all week, dog. So um <clears throat> let me just say that first. Um, but uh come on, Ron. You don't gotta ask me. We are going bike to bike. Not back to back, but bike to bike. I got <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I like it. I'm not, I'm not mad. Boy, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't stand in front of him from the first quarter, second quarter, another th- third quarter. But when the fourth quarter comes around, uh, I don't even want. I don't even want to tell you who he was looking like. Hey, so um, you you don't think last year was an anomaly? You think he actually no, builds on what he did last year? Yes, I do. Oh, he lied that for, for y'all. Sure. Y'all ain't seen y'all ain't seen nothing yet. The just I do started. too. Stop playing. I do too. 100%. Okay. Yeah, he, okay. He embraced, the mob. he embraced the moment too. I, I give you that. Yeah, that's he loves that shit. He, he loves it. He loves it. I, I think, yeah, I think that's what he's here for. And then on top of that, on top of that, the young boy Keegan, Keegan gonna be there. You know, he's he gonna be more, you know, he, I think I think Darren's gonna be more um more confident than he even more confident than he was last year, more confident in his teammates, even more. It's gonna be I think we I think we're gonna see a new De'Aaron Fox. I'm talking about first team all NBA De'Aaron Fox. What makes the iron so dangerous in the clutch is he doesn't settle for threes. Like he's mm-hmm. attacking downhill. That's what makes him so dangerous. Because even if even if he's down two, he's not going to just take a three. Like if he can get to the mid range or he can get to the rim, he's gonna do it. And that's what keeps defenses honest. Because a lot of these players nowadays, like that's why I don't pick Steph Curry for these type of awards. Because the Warriors will be down one and Steph Curry's going for threes, which is something that's changed recently. Which is actually why I think he's improved in that area. Because before 
it was ridiculous. He would just take threes if the game's tied or if they're down one. Like, you don't need to do that. De'Aaron Fox's ability is just to get downhill whenever he wants and then stop on a dime and pull up is what makes him so dangerous in the clutch. And I think that's a lot of things. That's a thing that a lot of players don't really add to their game or unlock in their game, which I think is why De'Aaron Fox will be in this conversation again. Mm-hmm. But voter fatigue is real and he's not going to win back to back. And, I, and you know what? I hate I hate that about basketball, Mars. I'm I'm seeing that in the NBA, uh, uh, college, uh, was uh, high school, all of it, bro. Like te- you, you can literally be down one point, and you see kids, or and just not even kids, just players just shooting threes. Like uh, you're settling for threes. Everybody's running to the three point line. You're down one, even if and and that's that's how I feel about the game too. If you even if you're down two, I'm, I'm let's get a layup. If there's a minute left and we're down three, you got to stop me at the rim still. But, they get it from they get it from uh Jalen Boy LeBron pulling up all those threes. But Ron, the day LeBron retired, Jalen has to be banned from this show. Because that fool is more. I might need I might need a mug to myself. Yeah, he's going to He's banned that day. That day he can't come on here, bro. Because that fool is going to oh, be a Kleenex. He going to need he going to need a whole year's supply of Kleenex that day. Yeah, I know. Right, I got, somebody, I got, somebody I got, send, I, somebody I send Jalen when, when, when LeBron, when LeBron retires, man. Let's, let's somebody send Jalen a, a, a edible arrangement and some cherries, yeah. berries. <laughs> we go, we, we go. When LeBron retires, edible. just send me an edible. <laughs> <It's some> edible. <laughs> we're gonna have the edibles on deck. We're gonna, we go, we gonna have Usher's confessions album on. Nah, deck. nah, we not, we not. I'm, I'm talking about fruit, y'all. Send us an edible arrangement. Get some fruit nah. in your life, man. No, I'm about hydrate, to say, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate your organs, man. I thought right. you was trying to have him looking like old boy for, that was with the Miami squad. I'm talking about Dama. What, what's old boy's name? Uh, Dion. Oh, yeah, Dion, 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 Dion Waitress. Yeah, they said he was laid out on the plane, boy. Man, shout out, <laughs> shout out Dion. Shout out Dion Waitress, though. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead. You see the clutch player of the year ranking. Please don't pull this up no more. This is disrespectful. Uh, you know, y'all, 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 see y'all see this. One? Y'all got Dame yeah. number one, bro? Dame was voted number one. Dame yeah. is player's choice. Player's player of the year. I'm wrong with y'all, bro. That, that that's who we predicted. He's number one. Yeah, I don't think Jamal Murray is going to have the opportunities. I feel like with, with that team getting, uh, you know, maybe not improving like some of the other teams. I think there will be yeah, some dog fights on the Murray. season. And Jamal Murray, he's showing in the playoffs. <laughs> I think he is their closer. I'm telling you, he's that. I look how you really feel, Big Ox. That list is horrible. Y'all got KD over De'Aaron Fox and Steph. That's nuts. That's I didn't vote for KD. So I, I am with KD. Ticket, you participated in this list. This is your list. I didn't, no, no, no. My, no, my vote ain't give it to me because I ain't vote KD for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't vote KD. For nothing. Oh, man. I, I didn't vote KD. Took and vote KD. Don't move. I didn't vote KD. I didn't vote KD. Yeah. I didn't vote KD. Yeah. Yeah. So who voted for KD? Still, someone lying. Someone lying. Someone lying. Someone lying. Someone lying. Hey, we're, 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 we're not the, we're not the only people up here that have votes. We just happen to be the only you know seven people that's up here right now. It's, Bro, it's a couple votes, more people in that group. Not, clearly, my votes were not counted, and I want you to stop the steal right now. You, you have you have a late melon balance and shit. We've seen this before. Facts. <laughs> machine start working. The county machine start working. All right, yeah. fellas, we are gonna go ahead and transition to the six men of the year rankings. Check them out. They're up here on the screen right now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this down to y'all. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna run this down to y'all. All right. At one, we have Malik Monk. At two, we have Cam Thomas. Three, Bobby Portis. Four, Norman Powell. Five, Emmanuel Quickly. Six, Rui Hachimura. Seven, Derek White. Eight, Cole Anthony. Nine, Imani Bates makes an appearance on the list. Shout out Imani Bates in our in our six men of the year rankings. And at ten, we have Bones Highland. How are we y'all feeling about this list, even brother? respect Roy enough to put his last name. Y'all say it, bro. The, Two of my picks didn't even make the list. That's tough. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I'm my picks made the list. Yeah, so. I might. But I, I, I believe one of them made the list solely because of my vote. Which mm-hmm. I have Malik so. Monk at number two, so I don't mind him at number one. Um, I think I think so. I guess most people agree. Malik Monk at number one. Um, you know, what he's going to be a six man of the year award. I think it'll be him, Norman Powell, quickly for my three. Going to give you 16, probably 16, 15 points off the bench. Um, they're probably going to be, you know, a winning team, which I think definitely helps in the sixth man of the year race. So Malik Monk, I think, is a fine pick. Rui was my number uh, one pick, and he was at six. So I, I can Y'all know somebody see. else who might my win it again. Cole Anthony was my number one. Y'all know somebody who might win it again and try and even put on the list. Oh, boy, they just got traded from Boston. Oh, Malcolm. Malcolm. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no. I, 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 I want to know how Chris Paul can make the list because I definitely voted for Chris Paul. Uh, so it is. Hold on, I'll put it up here. It is an eleven. They were low on you guys' list, 
So when I tell you three, two, one, obviously right. the person that's at one gets more more love than the person at, Anthony, at three. It's, it's Anthony Black. Black. I said it's Anthony Brown. I was. How y'all? Yeah, I was. Didn't put the when you say Anthony Brown, I'm like, I must be a casual because I have no clue who Anthony nah, Brown Anthony is. Anthony Black. I, I like how Russell still talks. Oh, Chris Paul. Like, he's like, you know I'm what? I trust him. Winner right of the award up here. How he didn't even get up here? Who? Malcolm Brogdon. The guy who won the damn award. None of y'all voted for him. The same, same year. Ticket, why'd you vote for him? Why did you vote for him? I did, he ain't on the list. list. Oh, damn. Ticket, you didn't. I will say, I will say this though. Um, you know, now that now that Malik got this love, you know what I'm saying? I don't give I don't give a shit about that uh that clutch player of the year. Award. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a that's a that's a fake ass award anyway. Fuck that. But uh I like Malik. that we were all on the same page with Cam Thomas. I, I like that. I'm not, I man. Think, I, I think I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I already got a shot again, bro. Because I think he's going to get a lot of minutes, and I think he's going to do good production over there with him. I think Norman Powell, I think the Clippers are, if again, if they stay healthy, they'll be a lot better than people think. And Norman Powell could be a big reason why coming off the bench, um, giving them solid buckets. So I think he's a guy who I'd probably put a little higher. I'm going to be honest. I just, for, I just forgot about Emmanuel quickly. He definitely would have been yeah, on my yeah. top. I think Vegas team. has him as a favorite. I think Vegas has him as a favorite. Yeah. I, oh, so man, my fault, Emmanuel, man. quickly. I just forgot. My apologies. Good. Why'd y'all put Derek White on there? Isn't he starting? I, I thought Derek White was starting. I thought he started too, yeah. I thought he started yeah. too. Ron, I Derek White should come off there and old boy should be on there because Derek White didn't even start. I mean, he's starting even well, six but, minutes. But whoever voted for this, though, assumed that Derek White would probably end up off the, coming off the No, but though. you actually have to be. No, he's actually a starter, though. They didn't, they didn't just go to the conference finals and he's out of the starting lineup. He's a starter on the team. Season ain't started yet. But he they already had him penciled in as a starter. Uh, that's true. Then. All right. Well, what you call it? So go ahead and hit my cash up because they already got Jalen Moran penciled in as a starter. Mm. Now he goes no, to open the night. No, 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 no. I'm talking, I'm well, telling you because he might not make it there on open the night. <laughs> exactly. Aaron White might not make it there open the night. No, nah, but he went to go for his finals. Pennsylvania. Don't worry, don't worry, Damo. You gonna get, you gonna be able to get your chitlins and rice. One of them. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't disrespect me. I don't eat no nasty ass chitlins. All right, relax. <laughs> I don't eat nasty. Let's, let's calm me down. I'm yeah, I'll fuck I'm, I'll, 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 I'm very picky. I mean, I'll tell you what. I miss chitlins. I, I, I hate, I hate elevating my mind and not being able to eat that shit no more. So, you shouldn't be eating that shit in general. What else we got, bro? No, I don't. I ain't, I ain't had chitlins in over a decade. But Good. Good, W-U. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to Google this restaurant now. Hey, Malcolm Brogdon, I apologize these guys did you dirty like that, bro. They ain't put no you respect. Want, you did him dirty, too. I said, did I you do that for him? Ron said, said you did it. So, Ron a liar? Ron, but Ron's a liar. Ron said there's too many other people. <laughs> that so, that means about one. Ticket. Mm-hmm. Ticket. Ticket. Actually, actually, oh, I'm going to keep it a buck. Ticket actually never sent his votes in. I did. Oh, it, no, it didn't go through. Oh, uh, see? So, <laughs> hey, no. I'm Ticket right never sent his vote in, so. Through. I'm looking right now. It says re- it tells me to resend it. I didn't go through. That's crazy. Well, hey, that's what the list is right now. Damn, that's crazy. You don't even vote, and you got the audacity? No, Talk I did about vote. Po- I, did, I, did, I, did, I did vote. I did vote. I did vote. <laughs> <laughs> but uh oh so ticket got Malcolm Brogdon. I want to hear who everybody else has as their six man of the year. I have Bobby Portis again. Um he would have won it last year had he not gotten hurt for those six weeks. He was averaging a double double off the bench. Nobody was doing that at that amount at that rate. I think he was almost 15 and 10. Um this year with the amount of shots that's gonna be put up, even with the better team, him being in that rotation, like he's been in that rotation, they're gonna be even better. So if you look at the six men of the year over the past couple of years, they've been on teams that have won. So if I think that the six man of the year was Bobby Portis last year, I think. I think Milwaukee's going to be a good team again this year, and I'm going with Bobby Portis again. Uh, Jalen, who you got? <laughs> uh, six man of the year. I had that first place. I had going that list again. It was uh Norman Powell. Norman Powell. Yeah, I think the the Clippers again. They're healthy. Will be a really good team. I think Norman Powell could be a big piece of them winning games. Again, going to be a bucket off the bench. So yeah, I got Norman Powell. Mars. Um, I tried to follow the precedent of the award, which seems to be just the person who averages the most points off the bench. Um, and my belief is that Cole Anthony will average the most points off the bench this year. 
Um, I think Orlando is a team that is looking for a guard to create shots from the perimeter. Um, I think Anthony Black is more of a playmaker. I think Markel Fultz works more in the mid-range. Um, Cole Anthony is definitely more of a three-level threat than both of them. So I think they're going to ask him to come in, be a microwave off the bench. That's kind of the MO for the six men of the year when you look at Lou Williams, Jamal Crawford, etc. So I think he just fits That's that really mold. Nice. Yeah, I think he just fits that mold of someone who's going to average 18 to 20 points a game off the bench and win the award. Whether or not he's the best six man in the league, different question. But I think he'll win the award based off the scoring production he'll bring off the bench. Mm. Cool, cool. Yo, Ox, who you got? Mini Max Sauce. Who's that? <laughs> Mini Max Sauce. You know who that is? Leak. Mac McCone? Oh. Leak. You got to stop playing with me. Uh, but uh, yeah, now nah, I got out for sure. For sure, I got Mini Max Sauce winning this award this year. I think. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say he got robbed last year. I don't think he. I don't think he earned it last year. But I think he played played good enough to um to put to put people on notice. You know, he, he got he got he got about that bum ass franchise that he was with before that that was disrespecting his talents. Um, and then he came he came to where he's loved and embraced. So now he can play some real basketball. He's with, he's back with his brother De'Aaron Fox. And them two about to run the league this year, so y'all be y'all be ready for that. Mini Max lost uh, six man of the year. Got you, got you, uh, Damo. Last but not least, who are you picking for six man of the year? I got you. Um, well, I was gonna pick Bobby Portis because after recent findings, he stopped posting on his podcast because it failed. So I can support him now. But <laughs> she already, oh. already picked Bobby Portis. So I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Rui. Uh, I, I feel like Rui will hands down be the best six man, best player coming off the bench. Uh, using Mars's logic of it being the guy who scores the most off the bench, I think he can be in contention because I see Rui average between 14 to 18, depending on how everything's going. That's wild. Um, my bad, motherfuckers don't tell me that I'm coming up. <laughs> I'm over here enjoying my food. He's gonna nah, Dub, up we, we got some questions to ask you because they, they wanted to know how certain people got a certain list, and I think you might be able to answer those questions. But but hold up, right quick. Finish, go ahead and finish, Damo. <laughs> oh, no, Rui. Just round about Rui. Question, Big okay. Damo. If Rui is, like you said, if he's 18, let's say 18, 19 a game off the bench, and the Lakers are at the top of the Western Conference, are we talking about Rui as an all star? Nah, Austin Reeves is starting, and he he's definitely getting uh, as Ox would call the Lakers media cartel push. Uh, okay. So it don't matter how good Rui is playing, Austin Reeves is being dubbed the third best Laker, and he's gonna get hyped up like that. So it's okay. gonna, yeah, if, if we have three all stars, if we have three all stars, it's gonna be Bron, AD, and no matter how good anybody else is playing, it's gonna be Austin Reeves. That's right. Hey, chill. And Rui, I don't Rui, think Austin is going to be an all-star, though. Let me say that. I don't want y'all right. thinking I'm crazy. I don't think Rui's – I mean, I don't think Austin is going to be an all-star. Dog and Hunter be coaching in the all-star. Say that again, Ticket. No, I said Rui's only going to be around 12 points a game. Lakers got too many guys on the bench coming off, looking for cuts, getting – getting yeah. uh, minutes. So he, a lot of bodies, for sure. Yo, Dub, can I get your top three uh, predictions for six men of the year? Omani Bates. Yep. <laughs> you got yeah, Bates at one? Dub eating that Damo chicken. Let them know, Dub. Omani Bates, man. Omani that's Bates. That's right. Let me see what the other ones I had. I sent it to you last night. Hold up. Pause. Uh, I sent that you. Not, that didn't require pause. Omani <laughs> Imani Bates, uh, Jordan Clarkson, and Cam Thomas. How many games you got Omani Bates playing, Dub? Isn't Jordan Clarkson a star? The whole season. Jordan, Jordan Clarkson is Jordan Clarkson no, is a star. Yeah. No, hey, Jordan Clarkson. Well, in in the preseason so far, he's been coming off the bench. Well, he was a star last year. I'll say that. Yeah, he started this last year. year bro. Oh, no. he Remember, Colin Sexton got injured though. Colin Sexton's yeah. coming back, and I'm I'm assuming um Uga Booga is gonna take a step up. So you think Jordan's going back to the bench? Yeah. Whichever. That's what it's up. looking like. That's where that's yeah. where he's the most effective. Whichever one comes off the bench, bench Sexton or Clarkson, either one of those, I think it would be a candidate. Yeah, I, think I wouldn't argue against Jordan and Carlson. I wouldn't be surprised if he got yeah. out the bench. Yeah. That's where he's been the most effective. Didn't he win six man of the year? I say, did he not win it one year old? He won, I think. The, the year the year after, uh what, what's the guy from he's in he was in Orlando last year? He was in Utah. Because they had consecutive guys win it in back to back years. Joe, you guys Ingles. From Joe Ingles won it and then Clarkson won it after him. Yeah. 
All right, and uh, hold on. Let me check this game last night. I'm going to see if Jordan Clarkson started last night. He did start last night. Right. Colin Sexton came off the bench last night. Y'all been listening to me. I'm the man. Who knows? I don't know. And and just a quick quick side note from you guys. I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, Chris Middleton, these are how many five-on-five games he's played in practice. And these are how many preseason games he's played. I just want to. Yeah, something wrong with him. Chill, chill, I just want to put that on your mind. Yeah. So, it, must, it must be something that is serious. At the trade deadline, he's gone. I would, I would so, move on from the They just extended deadline. him, right? They did. Just extended him this summer. So surely, no, they, must have the known, surely they must have known about what was going on before, when they extended him. Well, they couldn't him. lose the this asset, Mark. They couldn't lose the asset for nothing. Asset so, I, I mean, I, listen, to me, now that you got Dane, now he's expendable at the trade deadline. You can but to you get can't, you, can't trade, you can't trade him if he can't play though, Tiki. Yeah, how much? No, I'm saying, saying, trade deadline. I'm saying he should be better by the trade deadline. I'm saying oh, right, they, right, should, okay. they should move on. Someone to said he had just had surgery in the off season, so he did. He had surgery oh. on his knee again. The same knee that he had surgery on before. I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. Yeah, 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 he gotta, yeah, he gotta, he gotta, go, he gotta be gone, Doug. I mean, uh, Bob, it's, that's it for him. He's at his home. But, but I'm saying, but ticket off. If if he had the surgery, if it fixed it, like if if he if he got. Whatever was wrong, if he got fixed in the offseason in that yeah, surgery, Bob, you know I, one I, thing. You might want we, you, you, Bob, you know one thing is being a player. When they go under the knife under you numerous times, you mm-hmm. ain't never the same. Every time they cut you open, you ain't never the same. You understand what I'm saying? Man, but never, hurt and, since and, 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 too. and not only that, I mean, how long has it been, Big Ox? I mean, we 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 in October. He got that done last summer. And this wasn't a major surgery. It wasn't like he tore up his ACL or he tore his MCL. Like they just went and cleaned it, they just went and cleaned him up. That's all no, that wasn't, was. wasn't it just this offseason that just passed? Like yeah, this, this summer, right this summer that just passed, yeah, but it wasn't we're, a major. We're in the, we're in the pool now, so awesome. Hey, y'all don't even trip. Bucks and six. We got no, Marshawn. That's Bokeh. not how it works, Marsh. Last that's last what he that's what he that's what he was saying. I'm just yeah, okay. I'm just not last last, last right. summer, I thought I thought Chill's helmet last year too. I, I'm oh, not yeah, I, I was just trying to think. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to think. You got something on your what? Dub, what's your saying, bro? Hey, hey, Dub, you got some dirty chicken on your chin. You got you got some chips or something on your beard. You know what I'm talking about? Oh no, no, Hey, hey, yo, Dub, though. I uh I got one more question for you because we talked about the uh you know the six man of the year, but now I gotta get your top three. Three, four, <laughs> player the of the year. The year? <laughs> hey, who did you vote for on here, Dub? Who's your top three? Who did I vote for? I think I put Steph <laughs> up there. I think I put Steph up there. Oh man, did I put Trey? Yeah, I did put Trey. You put him over KD over your over your daddy. KD, oh, Steph, God. Trey. That's who I got. My daddy was first. Yo, oh, man, that's crazy, <laughs> so you hey, you guys were asking how Kevin Durant got on the list. This is how we got on the list. Dub, sorry, yeah, Dale and Dub are some are our our team KD now. He's joining. Dub, Dub, you still glazing? KD. Joining? He been he been team KD. Yeah, I don't feel like getting into it today. Fluent vote on this man. The fluent vote on this. Did who? Yeah, fluent, fluent, Dale, Low, Dub. Um, remember? Do you know who Jalen picked up? Jalen was worse than you. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, real quick. Yeah, yeah, because, because we got to do it in the chat. His name is Huncho. His boys call him Luncho because all of his takes are, are, are L's. And his whole <laughs> logic, his whole logic is to disprove everything that I say. I said that that Joe Ingles had won six man of the year and, back, and then uh, Jordan Clarkson won it in back to back seasons. I apologize. That year that, that, that Jordan Clarkson won it, he finished second. Ingles finished second to Jordan Clarkson. That's where I got that wrong. So I apologize. But he wasn't the running for six man of the year. No, I you apologize, a liar, man. You a liar, man. You a liar. Yeah, I apologize. W one, hey, man. One one thing I did, um, and I think one of you, I think it was Mars. He touched on this. I don't, I don't remember who it was, but I was surprised that Steph and KD didn't get as many votes as they did. Doug was literally KD. You surprised? Hold on, Ron. Based on what you've seen the last three years, you surprised KD didn't get more votes. I'm surprised he. Didn't I didn't vote for him. I'm just surprised that you guys didn't. No, no, no. I'm Did surprised. You know that. Don't you have to play 65? I mean, if the shoe fits. You yes, know you do. KD, man. Yes, you do. Okay, that's yes, good. That's why I ain't with KD. I don't think he's going to do 65. Mars, right Mars didn't vote. That was not with his last few performances. Yeah, that's what he should be on no clutch list. What about Steph, though? And what about Jokic as well? 
You got the, Jokic the, the, or Embiid. The, the, Jokic didn't receive no no votes. Embiid didn't Jokic receive no votes. Actually, Jokic is actually Embiid. Well, big big men don't win clutch player of the year, man. It's it's a, it's a yeah. Garden Wing Awards. It is what it is. Yeah, only got <laughs> only only only, 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 only guys that have won it so far. De'Aaron Fox has won one hundred percent of these yo, awards. Yo, yo, so wow. Garden Wing Awards. Big Zone gonna win it. So Guardian what about, what about Steph though? I wanna I wanna know how come Dub was the only one that voted for Steph. He's not gonna play sixty five games, so he's not. Mars, you don't think Mars Steph plays sixty five? No, that's not Mars's real reason. Well, what was the real reason you ain't put Steph? Um, because I think Trey Damon and Ant are gonna be in more situations to have to close games. Yeah, that's why I disagree, especially with um Golden State Warriors and the, there's an echo. I don't know who it is. Echo, echo. Yeah, Jim Jones down there. Echo. Uh, um, Hold up, wait. Let me let me mute Jim Jones. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't Jim Jones. Hold up. It wasn't Jimmy. It was Chill Town. It was Chill Town. I hear an echo over there. Hey Bob. Hold on, man. Hey Bob. You said that uh, Mace wasn't funny. Man, Mace funny as hell, man. Nah, Mace funny as shit. He just he's but Mace funny. Yeah. Mace funny, but but can't but camera camera carry. I went back and listen after you said that, Bob. I went back and listened to Dollar Sign. He's funny as hell, bro. Yeah, nah, Mace funny as shit. Mace funny for sure. I was hating. I was hating when I said that. <laughs> you said w hate, w hate, w hate. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean that hate though. I was just you know I was kind of in my oh feelings. accidental hit. Yeah, I was in my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Actually, he tripped up over it, man. All right, so I got a, I got a couple super chats I'm gonna run down for this last uh, last little bit of the show. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's let's get into it. Uh, Miguel Ortiz sent through a twenty dollars super chat and said, a bit off topic, but to add to the stipulation to your shows, any curse word said five dollars per word would be dope to donate to a b ball camp for the youth. Love the show. I watch it religiously every day. Salute Sorry. to you all. Sorry, in the words of the great Eminem, Will Smith don't got to cuss in his raps to sell records. So I do. Right. So damn it. You too. Right. 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 Yeah, 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 <laughs> I think he's actually always over here. They just they all right. Yeah, man, man. Hey, salute, salute to Mr. Ortiz, though. Appreciate you. Uh, keeping it pushing. Fetty Kalunga said, Ticket is right. We live in an American society where women have to operate, where women have to operate from a beauty standpoint to come up. And Jarice knows this. That's why she promotes herself on social media as the side hustle. Stop the cat. That's true. Yeah. Hey, that I don't, boy, I don't hey, support hey, that. Mars. Mars. Your boy, Beauty Kevin matters. Porter Jr., ex girlfriend. Oh my god, bro. She is. Oh my, oh my. She did it. Yeah, she is not hard to look at. Her, her, her and her, I'm like, let's go. Oh, she's bad as hell. Bad man, as hell. I don't know why Kevin Porter Jr. go cool to my boy. I start shaking like I leave her right. torch when I look at her. Like, oh, <laughs> all right, y'all. So I support, I support the my grind. In my back, Ron. My neck. <laughs> Winner sent through a super chat. Man, support it. Love to see it, man. Shout out Angel for show. Definitely shout out Angel. Uh, Winter sent through the super chat and said, Chill, how good was Cheryl Swoops? I heard she's considered one of the greats in WNBA history. Still holds the record for still holds the record for the most points in the national championship against Ohio State at 48 in that game. I was a I was a chauvinistic pig when it came to females in sports. I'm bigger, stronger, and faster than you. You can't compete with me. That's of course until I laid my eyes on Cheryl Swoops and I was thinking to myself. I might need some help to cover her. She looked like she a lot to deal with. A lot to deal with. Cheryl Miller, though. Who's your WNBA crush? I was going to say, Reggie Miller. WNBA crush. Jesus Christ. Chill when, 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 when they let Cheryl Swoops. Who was my WNBA, WNBA crush back then? I was in the Tina Pinachero. Pinachero. I was in the house. Shout out to the top PG, Tisha Pinachero. I was way into her. Sacramento Monarch Legend. I thought you said Tina Thompson. I thought you said Tina Thompson, my bad. She was dope, too. Yeah, them lips, man. Mm. <laughs> man. Yo, when they look, when they look, pause. When, when look, when nah, you Cheryl, don't have to pause that one. Um, <laughs> when, when they let Cheryl Swoops and uh in uh Cheryl Swoops and uh and um uh, Cynthia Cooper team up together for them Houston comments, boy, they don't think. They ain't know what the they way did. I felt about Cheryl Swoops, I felt the same way about Maya Moore, too. Like I was looking at Maya Moore like yo, she looked like she is hell to deal with. Oh my goodness. Yeah, chill. I was going crazy when Skylar Diggins first came out. When she Skylar first Diggins, came out, I was like, oh, yes. 
Man. She was dope too. Yep. Bro. Joshua Martin said Kaylin Clark will get a lot of people to watch the <laughs> WNBA. She will. I think so. She brings the All energy. This is this is my thing now. Now um, I know I know that that was crazy how they had all those people at the games and whatnot. But I just want I just want to uh, get y'all to think about this. When Sabrina Ionescu was at Oregon, if that would have put a, a game out on the Ducks field, whatever that field is called, that would have had that would have been packed too. It would have yeah, been it would have sure. been, been, been packed just like that. So that's why that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a marketing thing. Is more is more so as coming to watch the mm -hmm. game, like. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that was great, and that's really good for the game. Shout out Kevin Hart, <laughs> shout out Purdue, shout out whatever team they were playing. But Sabrina Ionescu could have done the same thing. There was uh UConn, UConn could have done that every year for the past 20 I think years. Candace Parker could have got that too. Tennessee, Tennessee, yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. Tennessee, they could they could have done that at Tennessee. This is these are things that could have been happening, but they just don't show any love to the women's sports. So I, I, I just wanted to say that like this that them that them doing that is not indicative of how good the game is. The game has been this good. Ron, I know it's, it's, it's just good and convenient having to watch a game. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it works. That's crazy. I'm not going. I'm not going to that, Morris. Yeah, like, I don't get right into that. <laughs> need binoculars to go watch the game, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, personally, personally, that's uh, it's it's great. You know, that was beautiful. I, I love that, but I'm not going to watch that shit. Liddell Naismith, this dude, Liddell Naismith in the chat. I like white women. Let me ask you a question. So, facts. So hey, you don't put milk on your cereal. Y'all know Damo got a job. We got love for all genres over here, you know. Damo got a job of sniffing girls' locker rooms in the WNBA after after the game. He go back all the locker rooms sniffing. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I see. I see. I stripper sit put super chat and say hot take. Devin Booker is the best shot creator in the league, even better than Kyrie or KD or anybody. That's you know, it's so you know, I don't, it's think, so funny. Like, I don't think it's no. a hot take. I don't know if I agree, but I, I think he's right. up there. But a lot of people running with that little stretch he had in those two games and just running with it, completely right. forgetting what Devin Booker did in game six and game seven is like recency bias is so bad. It's so bad, bro. It's terrible, it's dub. Terrible. Game like seven. they completely forget okay. about everything hey, else. Yo, same with you. You the same dude oh, said that Ross Ross was on the same level as Doc Rivers. Don't think I ever forgot about what you said. Who? Yeah, we'll get to that Who? another day. Who? Mm, he just Who'd I say? Who did I say? No, no, what was the name I said? You said who? Nah, you said that old boy was on the same level as Doc Rivers. Yeah, old boy. Who are you talking about? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yo, do you know sexy red? Yeah, we'll we'll get to that one of these days, yo. I got a, I got a couple more super chats. Hold up, Jalen. I got a couple more super chats before we get up out of here. I want to show some love to the people. Winner said Jimmy ain't in the top three or top five in the clutch. Shaking my head, the Jimmy it's disrespect. It's a regular season award. Yeah, I was gonna say. In the really playoffs, he's definitely up there, but regular mm -hmm. season, he'd be chilling. I think he oh, finished. So now the logic, so now the logic year. for somebody in the regular season, but in the playoffs is okay. But for I think, he, I, I think he finished third last year in the regular in, in, in clutch player of the year. I think. I think yeah, it was he didn't win it, did he? Him, Demar Derozan, and and him, Fox, Demar Derozan, and Buckets. I think those are the three yeah, guys. I'm not. Oh, they were. I think those are the three guys. Brian Holiday said, to be fair, there are many famous companies that do not make money. Uber, Lyft, WeWork, etc. WNBA is a growing product. I think it can be profitable. Uber is not not making money. That doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so Uber making money. Are, I don't know what they they just about. recently, they were burning capital for several years just because of their expansion, customer acquisition costs. But when right. you're generating billions of dollars of revenue, you're able to afford to burn capital every year because right. billion dollar revenue companies is not going to be something as similar. See, but Jenna, but Jenna, why, why will you, why will you, why will you tell the reasons and, and say, oh, well, they, they were making money because of this. They were making money of this. But you won't do that for the WNBA. All you point out is the fact that they that they were being mm. seven no, 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 because, because, because you won't, you won't why, why won't you why won't you why won't you give back back stories for for the WNBA, but you will for for other Fortune 500 companies, so. No, no, because That's the concept of it is that like in other sports leagues, other sports leagues aren't aren't given 25 years to make money in, in the in kind of the modern business climate. You don't get 25 years to make money in tech in tech startups, especially. It's it's a known thing that you're going to burn capital early on. Whether it's it's getting getting customer acquisition, development of the product, whatever the case may be, it's known in tech startups that become these billion dollar entities 
that you're able to burn capital more. So the standard practice of that business of sports leagues is different than of these tech startups in that business world. Right. So, but, you, but I mean, but, but every, every tech, every tech, well, I, I know we don't got too much time around, but I'm just, yeah. you know, I know, I know every tech company isn't going to be like that though. Like every tech company isn't going to blow. Of course, you know, 100%, so, like some that, will right? 100%, no, for sure. But it's just, it's common mm -hmm. practice in, in, the, in that tech field where you're burning mm -hmm. capital for the first three, four, five years. While today, if you were to start a league right now, we understand that um, the XFL, they, they lost $60 million too, like its first year, right. but they're not going right. 25 yeah, years. Yeah. Hey, Jalen, me and you, we had, we had to talk off, off but, screen. But, 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 yeah. but, Jalen, so, but, Jalen, <laughs> thing, Jalen, you got to get you rich, Jalen. My, my thing, Jalen, is, like, there, you, you, I mean, you remember, you've seen, you've seen where, where guys, where, where they were, they were talking bad about, um, Bezos, laughing at Bezos because, yeah, because, yeah. because, because of what, you know, it, it took, it took Amazon so long, you know what I'm saying? Breaking break news, Big Ops, no Chelsea Gray in game four, she's out. Mm. Yeah, I'll figure that already. Yeah, I'm, I, she, she's done. She's done. We won't see her for next till next season. I, I, you, you seen? Oh, you think she's out for the was, series? You oh yeah, that was bad. bad. That was bad. She can, uh, she can liberty in five. If you're, if you're built, if you're built like that, and you're mentally tough. You gotta play through, man. Nah, she can't. She can't <laughs> play through that. But that's okay. Kelsey, Kelsey, Plum, Kelsey Plum will take us to the promise line. I'm not worried about this at all. But uh, Jalen, so what I'm saying is, you know, teams, uh, companies like that, you know, they were they were laughing at laughing at Bezos. You know what I'm saying? And now he's one of the richest people ever. So. That's what that's all I'm saying. Like I don't I don't think and obviously the, the powers that be they don't think it's a big deal that the WNBA is being subsidized more by the NBA as well either. So that's what I'm saying. The NBA gets to use the WNBA as a tax write off. Right. You know, okay. So that's that's, 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 that's the that's the reason. Yeah. But the, but the, the NBA doesn't need the the NBA doesn't hey, need the WNBA. Show, that, show, Jay, you got to talk about business. Hit me as a Fellas, we got to <laughs> take it wow. No, hey, no, but, I, but, hey, but no, I see where you at, take it. I see where you at. Something wrong with him. Something wrong with his jock straps, Griffin. But that's what we know business. I can tell by the way he talk. He study business. Yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. No doubt. All right, y'all. Tomorrow, we will be ranking Dub. Need you up here tomorrow. We're going to rank the top 40 players in the NBA, and we're going to do it the right way. Yo, we are going to come with the first official correct top 40 list for PC. We're going to do it the right way, y'all. All right, tomorrow, same time. Hey, um, Open Gym is next. So leave here and literally go right to that stream. Hey, Doug, you got some chicken on the left-hand side of your chin. Hey, Morris, Morris, open Gym today, Morris. I want you to.